Welcome to the Bronx Aerosol Arts Documentary Project. Today is Thursday, May 11th, 2023. My name is Pastor Crespo Jr., the research librarian and archivist here at the Bronx County Historical Society. I will conduct this all of history with pioneer writer Butch Two. Butch, would you like to introduce yourself? Of course. Uh, welcome to the Bronx Historical. My name is Butch Two, carrying the torch for a couple of my fallen comrades, like Case Two and Solid One. I'm currently heading the Cools Incorporated, uh, writing since 1972. Welcome. Great. Today we have the distinct honor of documenting an oral history for Band Two. OTB, a true pioneering writer. Slash Delhi 167. Slash Delhi 167, a true pioneering writer and artist. Welcome, Band 2, mm -hmm. Delhi 167. Please introduce yourself. Yes, uh, my name is Nathan Holloway. I'm from the Bronx. I represent OTB, Ultra Bomb, by myself, Bomber. Uh, I, I came into this graffiti genre at the standard age of 14. And um, I, I guess one of the Pass on to my legacy to my 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 birth child, and just you know try, try to um, incorporate myself and just get this general going into the next millennium. Nice, nice. Thank you, thank you. Band two, would you talk to us about your family history and their background and where your parents come from? Uh, my family background uh, it, it goes to the deepest. Of, of, of my imagination that I can remember back into the 50s from my grandmother, who I, um, the, the late, great Ozella Allen. And um, she's from Tex Marshall, Texas. Mm -hmm. And my uh, my father, uh, he's from Mississippi. And him and my mom, my mom's from um, you know Marshall, Texas also. We migrated to New York and uh, Oh boy, I was born in '62, so they they must have been here at least since the '50s. Wow. Maybe the maybe the '40s, because my mother was born in '48. Mm, wow. So so I I mean this is dating back to the story that I I was told from my grandmother that they migrated from Texas to New York, and I I, I can't tell a year. Right, right. To get it no, no, no. Are there any particular stories that you spoke about your grandmother telling you that you remember about uh, your family I, history? All I can remember is um, going to my grandmother's house when I was 10 age, of probably seven or eight. And my mother used to take us on the bus, on the 15 bus cars, because I, I was born in Harlem Hospital, a week from Harlem. Um, I can remember, I can remember uh, riding the 15 bus. Back then, with a 15 bus that runs along 125th Street and goes mm -hmm. across the Wilson Avenue Bridge. Mm -hmm. So all I, all I know is that I used to look out the window at the back of the uh, bus, and and that's how I um, remember the route, how to get from my my my, my mother's house to my aunt's house. Because I, I mean, I mean I'm seven, eight years old, you're a little kid. Your right. mom taking you to the park. You, I mean, I mean, you going to school, you going to the park, and then I didn't really have much of a fan fear of knowing. Which borough existed since Staten Island, Brooklyn, Queens? I didn't know nothing enough about all, all them areas. All I knew was Harlem, and then how to get across the bridge to the Bronx. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so, so I, I, all I know is my grandma. She used to take us fishing, you know, because she was a she was a fisher. So we would go up to Brewster, New York, and we would go to um, Katona. Okay. So all I remember was she used to take us to the Park Avenue train. The train is still running now, today, in two, 2023. The train is still, uh, what, what's it called? The uh, Hudson Hudson Line? It's called the Hudson Line, right? I think so. So we used to get on the Hudson Line, and she'd take us way up to Katona, and we'd go fishing, and she'd come back. Oh, and I used to hate going fishing with her. <laughs> she said, oh, boy, you're making too much noise. You're scaring the fish away. out of so, so I mean, but that was an experience that I, I, I vaguely would never forget. My grandma was taking us fishing. <laughs> That's a good story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then uh, Third Avenue L was still, you know, up and running and stuff like that. Cause my, you know, my mom, I didn't really get along with her. I thought she was too stern. She, we had, we had punishments. We had, uh, you know, she, she you know, you know. 
you know, you want to get a couple of beatings here and there. Right. Oh, you got to be good in school. Your teachers sending letters home from school. You know, oh. then uh, then parents teacher night. You know, parents teacher night when when your mom used to go to school. Yep. Junior, so that with the teacher and all that. <laughs> the teacher tell you, you, you like, oh God, uh, the teacher gonna tell my mom I did that. So you be like, oh, 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 oh. fuck, they don't teach you what. Tell my mom, oh, well, he don't pay attention to class. Oh, he's, <laughs> he, 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 he's smart, but, he, but he's not paying attention in class. So, so still, how do you explain the F, the U's, the, you know, the S's in, on the report card? And, I mean, I'm talking about back then, you know, your report card tells, tells it all. Yeah. Your mom, she, you know, she, she report card, da, 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 da. oh, gosh, that, that was... That was a time where I, I mean, I, I really came at a um, pinnacle point of, uh, I, I can't do this. I, I, I didn't want to be a kid. I wanted to be grown so fast. I want to get, I want to get out of my mom's house. I want to be 18, 19 years old. But still in all, I was, I was after him. And it's not only me. I had eight brothers and two sisters. Wow. But at that time, when I was going through that early ch childhood stage, there was only, there was only six of us. You know, the, you know, Claudine when she walking around with the kids, and, 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 you know, and, and then we lived in a six floor walk up at that. Wow. Six floor, 22 Lennox Avenue, right across from the Black Unicorn the Motorcycle Club. Interesting. So we used to look, yeah, because we used to look out the window and see the Black Unicorns and their motorcycles going up and down the Lennox Avenue. Oh, that was that what got me into motorcycles. Yeah. That was, that was one of the things that got me into motorcycles. Was was seeing the black unicorn and the black falcons racing up and down with the girls in the back. Right, right, right. Uh, they got the choppers. <laughs> and oh god, I mean, my my childhood was. Uh, I, I I don't regret it one bit. Great. Going into my childhood because I I I did have a nice childhood. I, I can honestly say that, truthfully. Now thinking back to that childhood, do you remember the types of music played at home? That influenced oh, you, your mom, mom and your dad, your grandmother's music. My mom. Oh boy, I I remember my aunt and my uncles and stuff. And so my mom, my mom was into music, but as far as I know, from when I was seven, eight years old, they had a record player, mm -hmm. and they would play Sly and the Family Stone, <laughs> Marvin Gaye, Wilson Pickett, all these old. I'm talking, I'm talking, the music genre was, was, I mean, I mean, it was, it was just too many to name. Right. Um, Martha Reeves and the Randells, Diana Ross, okay. Eddie Kendricks, um, I mean, I, I mean, no talking before disco. Right, right. It, it was no disco. No. It was just, this is, this is too wild, man. Steve, uh, Red Fox, he had these, she had these album covers with, Naked guy with the girls and Blaine, Rudy, Rudy Ray Moore, Dol Dolomite, whatever it makes. Right. <laughs> so, I, I, so, <clears throat> but um, we used to, we used to put the speaker in the window and the fire escape and play the music all loud. And, 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 I mean, those those are days when you could actually sleep on the fire escape. Right. You, you could actually sleep on the fire escape at night and don't have to worry about. Um, Oh, like all oh, this craziness that's going on today in this world, you know, in this city, you, you know. Right. But back then, it was more carefree. You, you could actually sleep outside uh, on the roof. You, you know, I, I remember them days yeah. vaguely. Cause we used to do it. Yeah. Fire escape. <laughs> sleep on the fire escape. Yeah. Bring a little mattress, or pillows, and sleep. Oh. There's no air conditioning inside. No, no that was the coolest see. spot. That was your yeah. patio back yeah. then. Yeah. <laughs> Especially you lived in the front, you seen yeah, everything. Right. Then uh, I'm, I'm talking back. I'm talking back. Damn, I can I can I can remember when the milkman used to come your house and deliver milk, right. and leave by your door and stuff. Wow. That's, yeah, that's how that's how long I remember <laughs> from back then. Wow. <laughs> and then my grandmother, she was a hustler. Man. I never walked down the street with grandma. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Seriously, I mean, I mean, I mean. Do you know back in the seventies, early seventies, you could actually furnish your house just by walking walking the neighborhood? Oh, 
all the stuff they put out on the yeah. streets. Oh, who threw this chair out? Oh, yeah. bring, the, yeah. bring this couch upstairs, boy. Yeah. Oh, who's, who's that lamp? <laughs> oh, take that TV upstairs, see what still work. You know? <laughs> yeah. My grandma, I walked over with my grandma. Boy, boy uh, she she have a cane. And she and she investigate the stuff with her cane. Uh -huh. She was moving around uh, with a cane. And boy, he put that up and carried it along with us. I was like, what? Grandma, what? Carry what? Carry this? <laughs> Remember, it was no cell phones. It was no cell phones back then. It was, no, it was hardly no pay phones. So, it, you know, you know, from the neighborhood, if you run into somebody, you walk in as a passerby, mm -hmm. and you say, oh, um, uh, uh, she had yelled to my uncle. They'd be probably on the corner. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Help this boy carry his couch upstairs. You know? oh, just... <laughs> uh, hey, those days was crazy. You can actually furnish your house just by walking nice. walking outside. Yeah. There was, was no going to the department stores and paying for new beds and 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 and, and paying down on stuff like that. You, you actually furnish your house just by walking around. Yep. Yeah. Now, originally, you lived in Harlem first. You yeah, have any yeah, of yeah. The, where I, and what are your earliest memories of Harlem? Oh God, we shh. Huh. Uh, we we used to go to Mount Morris Park on 121st, 123rd in Madison Avenue. Mm -hmm. It's between Madison and Fifth. I remember my mom used to walk us up to the Bell. They got a Bell. They actually got a Bell Tower. I don't, I don't know, was it a bell tower? Because it's, 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 it's like a little stair thing. You walk up, you go to the top, we take pictures and stuff. They had a big lock there. All this. I'm, I'm, the park is still there today. Yeah, right. yeah. It's, I, I think it's called Mount Morris Park. It's still there. It's still there, yeah. My mom used to carry us to that park. we play all day, go to the pool. They still got the pool there, too? I don't think so. Well... That, that's the most that's the most I remember. And she'd take us to the park and we'd go right back upstairs. Oh, you had a nice day. Uh, we even went to Central Park Zoo. Central Park got a zoo there, Children's Zoo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We used to walk from 110th Street to the zoo and back. We, we're okay. tired. But then again, you're not tired because you're kids. And we thought that, that we thought that was an adventure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay. Now, you ended up moving to the Bronx. When did you move to the Bronx and to what we, neighborhood? Wait, we, we moved to the Bronx back in, as, as I can remember, uh, between 74, it wasn't 74. It had to be 75. We moved to the Bronx in 75. I, I, don't, I don't know the season. But the reason why we moved to the Bronx because we used to live on 116th Street. Not 116th, I'm sorry. 117, 117th Street and um, Lenox Avenue on the fourth floor, I believe. We was on the third, third or fourth floor. I believe we was on the fourth floor. So what happened was the people who lived under us had a fire. Mm. And the fire, you know, when, when, whenever you have a fire below you, it, right. it goes upward. Right. So we had a fire. The girl left something on the stove or some shit. I, I don't know. So next thing you know, the fireman came. Next thing you know, all I see is the windows were being busted out. Da, 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 da. All I see is our clothes being thrown out the window. The curtains is on fire. Uh, so so then next thing you know, oh, they got to go up there with the waters and stuff, the water damage and everything. Because remember, the fire started from under us. So it, it spread it upward. And I'm talking about a building that was probably built in 1903, 1904. Right. So I mean, they go up, they go up quick, you know. So um, next thing you know, the the apartment became inhabitable. Inhabitable. That means you, yeah, you can't you can't live there. You can't live there. It's, it's unsafe. It's you know. So the Red Cross. That's when the Red Cross came in. I mean, I mean, are, are they still around today? The Red yeah, Cross. Yeah. Oh well. All I, all I know, the Red Cross came. Next thing you know. Oh, we, we've been relocated to a hotel on Broadway in 103rd, I believe it was, 102nd, 103rd. It's called the Regent Hotel. I know, I forget the name. Mm -hmm. And so we stayed up in there. I mean, I mean, coming coming from a, a four-floor walk-up, 
into a building with an elevator. That, that's like, that's, <laughs> Big that's, like you hit, that's like you hit lotto. Yep. <laughs> oh man, we ain't gonna walk up no more stairs. Da, da, da. Next thing you know, remember, remember, remember that these little rooms don't got no kitchen. So we was eating out every day. And not, not only that, they gave us vouchers, you know, the vouchers mm-hmm. and stuff. So we was eating pizza every day. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, 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 hey, I'm telling the truth here. Yeah. It, it, it's no hot. What we think it was a hot plate. My mom ain't used no hot plate. My mom used a stove and all that. You know, so so we we eating out every day, man. What we going to the pizza shop every day? And you know what it's like to get pizza every day as a, yeah. as a um, 10, 12 year old. Yeah. <laughs> so so um, so I'm going back to the the relocation. Mm-hmm. So all I know, we we stayed in the Region Hotel. Um, I'm still going to school. Um, all I know is my mom was going out. Oh, we we had a babysitter. Sometimes we just stayed in the house by ourselves. Cause back then you could stay in the house by yourself. Mm-hmm. They ain't like now nah, you staying out by right. yourself. Oh, they calling the cop. They calling the name. You know, you know, back then you could stay in the house by yourself. Just. Just don't throw no water balloons out the window and all that old shit. Right. <laughs> and you know that's what happened. Right. right. Don't be throwing no eggs out the window and the water balloon, you know. So so next thing you know, um she she dealing with some social workers or whatever. So and, um she going to appointments. So next thing you know, ah, oh, I gotta go see her apartment. That's when that's when she was bouncing around to apartment, apartment, apartment. Right. Right. Oh, I want to see this apartment today. Who who want to come with me? So we go to the apartment and stuff. Nah, mom, we don't like this. Da, 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 da. So, um, you know, we went, we stayed in a um, house on Shakespeare. Um, We stayed there for like, damn, like five, six months. Right there on Shakespeare Avenue with, with a private house. I, I thought that was cool. Cause come, coming from a tenement to a private house, on the first floor or whatever, or even the second floor. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, uh, I don't know. Uh, to me, I, I, but still, a home is a home. Especially when you come into a fire, and you gotta start all over again. You gotta buy all new wardrobe, you need clothes. You gotta, you gotta really, you know, start from scratch. Yeah. You, all your furniture's lost and all this stuff. So, um, from from that place, we went to. Um, a place called the Lewis Marsh. Lewis Marsh building is still standing today. That building got to be at least 150 years old. <laughs> the Lewis Marsh, you can't, it's on 174th and 175th and Grand Concourse. Now, coming from Harlem, going to the Bronx, um, I mean, I mean, I, I thought that was paradise because it's a big boulevard, mm-hmm. right? And it's tree lined. You know what's like the concourse looked like back in the seventies? That, that was like, you know, the George Jefferson thing moving yeah, on up. Right. So, so we go, we we go check this apartment out. The apartment is humongous. The apartment got it's a, it's an eight room apartment, eight rooms. Wow. How many how many apartments you know in the Bronx that eight rooms? Yeah. Five bedrooms, two baths. Wow. Yeah. One big kitchen, one big dining room. What? The part, the apartment's still there today. Seventeen forty nine Grand Concourse, seven seven B. The apartment is still there today. The apartment was so big it had two doors, one in the front, one in the back. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I ain't lying. That's sweet. Do the history on the Lewis Morris building. I remember that building. Yeah. So we so we up in that building on the seventh floor, and the building they got a door man. He's downstairs with the door. It's tree lined. Only the only thing, only downfall is the damn store is too long. I mean, it's a long walk to the store. Right. If you gotta go to the store, you got two ways to go. You either go down or you go up. But still, it's like walking three or four blocks. <laughs> but I, I, I mean, but all for nothing. I mean, coming coming from the coming from where we came from, Harlem, that was like uh, that was like a big step back then. Not only that, you got doctors downstairs, you got offices. The, the, so you walk in the lobby, the, the floors is marble. You thought you were on Fifth Avenue or some shit. So, so that was cool. I mean, I mean, the Lewis Morris. I mean, that, that building really brought back big memories for me. 
way big memories. Mm -hmm. Having all the fun in the building. The building was so the building was so large. It got four elevators. Four elevators and a freight elevator. How many buildings you know got four elevators and a freight elevator? Laundry room. They had all these doctor's offices. Had a big chandelier in the, in the lobby. I mean, I, I mean, you thought you, you thought you lived in heaven back then. <laughs> but uh, but but in all that, that was really when I really hit my pinnacle because I was still in junior high school. I was still in junior high school. I didn't even graduate. I didn't even graduate yet. I was I was like what? I was in eighth grade, seventh. Yeah, because the ninth grade I, I had to graduate from the ninth. Mm -hmm. I was still in this eighth grade, and we used to play outside. We used to play, you know, they had a little courtyard there. You no, know, I mean now, now my mom, now, now the kids is big. Mm -hmm. ain't, ain't none of that. Oh, we all going to the park stuff, or we all holding hands, crossing street stuff. No, 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 that, 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 that died out. Now my mom got a boyfriend now. You know, she ain't hardly home. You know, we got the babysitter here. She don't care. You know, all, all she worried about is her little. Pal, every week, you know, whatever. I don't know. So, so in all in all aspect, I I befriended a guy that that we used to just play outside. We play stickball. <laughs> we play stickball. You know, we played off the point. And his name is Melvin Melvin Samuels, also known as Knock One Six Seven. I didn't know this, this dude wrote graffiti at that time. So he must have had started a year or two before I even came on the set. You understand? So, so um, as I can recall, uh, that's that's when I really I I, I didn't I didn't want to do graffiti. You know, this is something that you just don't come out of the blue and say, "Oh, I want to do this." No, you gotta start from from the bottom, work your way up. Everybody started from the bottom eventually. Nobody started from the top. But but I'm talking about back then, he was already a made made guy. Yeah. So I could imagine um um the input he went you know, he went through the transition. I mean what what made you a great artist, my man? I mean he was good back then. And he ain't and he's still good to this day. Right. I mean it never leaves you. So uh, my my early starting name, I didn't I didn't have a name. I right. couldn't come up with a name. I didn't even know the guy I wrote until I asked him. And then at the time, I I used to see guys come to his house back then. And I'm talk I'm talking <laughs> seventy five. Right. So I'm gonna let Butch get in, get into the graffiti questions. You know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So we we definitely gonna get to that. You know, back back to the neighborhood games. Any other neighborhood games you remember playing as a kid when you got to the Bronx? Neighborhood games. Oh boy, all, all I remember was stickball, football. You know, two two hand touch football. Right. Um, we played skelsies. We used to, we used to uh, buy some tops. You know, you know the top of the rope. You tie right. it. You do like that. <laughs> you make first. You make a circle in the street. You know. I remember the tops, and I remember um, uh, the bean shooters and stuff. Oh, yeah. All the bean shooters. Yep. We used to we used to walk in the supermarket, and steal the peas and stuff. <laughs> we used to, you know, I mean, we used to open up the open yeah. up the peas and throw, throw the beans, you know, in our pockets and stuff. Right. My cousins used to do that. <laughs> so we had bean shooter. We used to have bean shooter fights and stuff. We, oh my god, we had so much fun. I, I had so much fun as a child that I could never forget. My childhood. Wow. We had slingshots and stuff. We used to, we used to bust out car windows and stuff. I mean, I mean, not 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 actually cars. I'm talking about abandoned cars. Cause remember, we had abandoned cars galore back in those days. It ain't like today. You know how they say uh, abandoned car right. streets? But back then, you seen them all written up with you no, know, no. They was abandoned. They was yeah. you know, we used to actually play in them too. We was going to like Ben and As a kid, I mean, you get into so much mischief as a kid. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, like the, it ain't like the kids today. Right. They ride their bikes. They, you know, you already know the stop sign. They stop. No, don't go through the red light. You know. 
And, um, you know, you know, it, it was just back. I mean, I, I did so much as a child. I'm surprised I'm still here today. I used, I, used, I used to actually ride the train by myself at seven years old. Seven, seven years old, eight years old. I was riding the train by myself, going to Coney Island by myself. I used to have my shoe shine box. Shines. Oh, I made, oh, I made three dollars, made five dollars. Go back to Coney Island, hide the shoe, hide the shoe shine box behind, you know, whatever, and go get on some rides and come back out. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm gonna buy something to eat. Go back to the shoe shine box. Do, do like five, six more customers, and then go back. Yeah, I used to do nice. that as a kid. As a kid, yeah. I, I did that. And I, and I don't know how the hell I did that at that age, so young. Well, any, well, anybody come up to me questioning me, nobody's, oh, where, where your parents at, boy? No, nah, man, nah. Now you walk the street, you know, you got a cop, you know. Somebody gonna eventually gonna come up to you, whatever. But back then, it was, it was, it was you could, you get on the bus, all you do is get, all you do is walk on the bus behind an old lady. Oh, that's my mom. Yeah. Bus drivers yeah. didn't care back then. Oh, oh besides, you, you had to be a certain age to pay anyway. Even even when you go on the subway. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 now he don't got to pay. He go on this turnstile. Go on this turnstile. <laughs> this, this is, I mean, I'm talking about doing, doing the stuff we did back then. You couldn't do now. I mean, especially with uh, all the cameras around, or the people with the cell phones now. They, they, every time they see something, they, first thing they do is take the phone and record. You know, it's, it's, I mean, I mean, I mean it's, it's just crazy how times has changed. Yeah. Everybody got a cell phone now. Yeah. Even even dope fiends and crackers got a cell phone. Yeah. yeah. You get a free cell phone. Yeah. You get a free cell phone and get... 253 minutes for a month. Yeah. Don't gotta pay a bill. You send pictures, take text, film, <clears throat> free. I, mean, I don't know. I but other than that, I, for all my eyes have seen through the new years, I, uh, I feel most grateful that I got around that. Cause remember, and, and the way drugs is more rampant today, it was more rampant back then than, than, than definitely today. I didn't get hooked on no drugs. I didn't indulge in no drugs. I didn't try no drugs. But I already seen what it did to to our people. Right. It, um, it really will deteriorate the family. Um, you know, you can't you can't have nothing to value in your house. You can't invite people in your house. Making you know, stuff is missing, stuff is stolen. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I I watched that from from an in in depth view from you know family members, whatever you know, even close friends, uh, whoever. So I I just seen what it did, and I that's 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 one thing I didn't want to be a part of. Even to this day, I, I'm not a part of that 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 fraction. And as far as my art is concerned, I used to be doodling in class when I was three years old. Mm-hmm. I mean, not not three. I'm sorry. When I was in school, third grade. I mean, let me say third grade, right. third fourth grade. I was drawing at that at, at back then. Uh-huh. The teacher called my name. Yes. What's the answer to what? I don't know. <laughs> she walk yeah. around, look at my deck, look at my paper. Oh, he's drawing. Yeah, 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 I'm drawing. I'm drawing my heroes. Not even my heroes. I'm just drawing, just to be drawing. Right. I'm drawing Gigantor. I'm drawing, I'm drawing Speed Racer. I'm drawing cars. Because, cause, you know, back then we had a TV. You know, it ain't like today. Everybody got a TV in their room and all that old shit. No, back then you only had one TV. Right. Ten people looking at one TV, like the Happy Days. Mm-hmm. Well, we want to watch Mom. Mom want to watch what she want to watch because she used to control it. Yeah. We didn't have no we didn't have no remote control. We had to get up and turn the TV with a fork because the knob was gone. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, antenna. We didn't have WHT. We didn't have cable. 
we, 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 we just had rabbit ears. We, we had to move the antenna. Sometimes we had to stand and yeah. hold the antenna to watch the show. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much the team. You know? Oh, man, this shit was great. <sighs> but it, life goes on. Yeah. I, I, I did everything possible to keep a dollar in my pocket at a tender age. I did every hustle you could come up with, you could name. We used to burn copper, go and build, go in an abandoned building and steal the brass pipes. We used to, we used to collect cans, bottles. Back then, back then it was no nickel. You got, you got damn near dime all quarter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then um, um, I sold, I sold papers. The A and P. Remember the A and P hustle? You go pack the bags all day. People get you change. Mm -hmm. I, I, I did that. I actually made about twenty twenty five dollars. That was that was big money for for uh, 12, 13 year old kid. Yes, mm -hmm. That's a lot. Yeah, you can save up and buy your own bike. Yeah, you go, you can actually go clothes shopping with that kind of money. Remember, from the store they used to have a bath cake. They had the juice, you know, a bath cake by um, Claremont Park where they had the juice and all that stuff. You buy you buy a pair of sneakers for what four dollars, five dollars. <laughs> So I, I mean, this is what I remember. Right. Even at Third Avenue L, remember that Third Avenue L? Mm -hmm. That I remember that train it used to be up. And I used to ride that train from 149th Street. Always. Well, I I didn't go as far as um, Claremont Parkway, cause 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 there was no need for us to go that far. Cause my grandma lived on 163rd, 164th. So anything we got off at that stop and walked to grandma's house, you know. And I, I, I'm talking back 71. I I, I, I I remember 71, 72, I believe it was. Well, and and I I remember that. The Third Army L does not exist anymore. They tore it down. They tore it down back in 73, I believe, 72, 73, late 72, late early 73. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And and graffiti was graffiti was up in up in uh, at full tilt back then, but I don't remember the names. I was too young as a kid. Right. But I didn't I didn't know how to go about writing my name on the train. That didn't come to later. Right. But I used to see it as a kid, and I was fascinated by how the hell did they do this? Right. I mean, it wasn't like today with oh, the whole car. No, it wasn't none of that whole car shit back then. All he did was a top to bottom. It was, it was probably like straight letter, you know, it had the little stars and it had the little dots or whatever. Right. Uh, but, but still, no, it, it, it existed, you know? But it wasn't like, it wasn't no character, it wasn't no Snoopy, it was no, you know, like, like, like you know, the characters that they got, that they run on the subways. Mm -hmm. who, who, who's who say Red Baron, Snoopy? Uh, Beetle Bailey, Sam or uh, Yosemite Sam. You know, it was not that back then. Mm -hmm. you know, I, 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 I can't recall the first character actually I actually seen, but I, I remember I, I, I believe it was Beetle 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 Bailey. I, if I'm not, if my mind correct, correct me right, I believe my first character that I seen somebody do was Snoopy or Beetle Bailey. Mm -hmm. right. But I, but but this is this is before I even. Picked up a marker. I didn't pick up a marker to, do I say late seventy five, uh, early seventy six. I, I know seventy six. I was definitely writing right. seventy six, but I I cannot um, vouch for how the height that I I already um, eloped around that time. Right. Because I remember I I remember I was still going to junior high school thirteen in Harlem. Okay. And um, you know with a uh, graffiti hall of fame. 106, 106 and 106. I went to that school. Oh yeah, oh, wow. yeah. I went to that school. I went to that school back in semi, semi, semi three, semi, semi three, semi four. I was in that school because that's the time we had the fire in the Bronx. I mean, on, on 117th Street. Then we we moved to the Bronx. Got it. Because 76, I was writing already. So 75, we moved to the Bronx. So 74, I, I was probably in that school in 74. 74, I went to. Jackie Robinson, thirteen, on right. Hundred Sixth and Park, right. which is known as Graffiti Hall of Fame. It is, yeah. 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 
Now, when you got to the Bronx, what were the first the first schools you attended? In? Uh, the first school I attended because I I don't know because I, I I didn't graduate from thirteen. Junior high school thirteen, I didn't graduate. Remember, we had to fire. So what would happen? My mom, because back then I used to take the train to school. We used, we used to take the D to um to, to Yankee Stadium, or whatever, and switch there and take the the, the, the express to one old uh one twenty fifth and then take the local. Mm-hmm. And then we go up hundred and ten from where we walk to school. So I don't I don't I, I, remember we had school passes, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I don't I don't know why my mom didn't let me finish the 13th, going to 13. Because my brother, he graduated from 13. Mm-hmm. And I was next in line to graduate. So I, I don't know if 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 she uh, didn't want me on the train by myself. You know, you know, I'm only 13 years old. I, mean, probably. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It, wasn't, it wasn't like she was taking me to school. Right. No, I was going to school on my own. We had we have books and shit, you know. Ain't like these kids. They, these kids don't even got a pen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They ain't got a pencil to go to school. What the hell, what the hell are you going to school for? No, no, no books. No. Oh. So what I'm trying to say is, right? Um, I don't know what the school the school zone. Oh, you live in the Bronx now? Why you got the kid coming way around here? All of I don't know. Who knows? So anyway. I went to the school that was closest to the house, which was Wade 117. Uh, junior high school, Wade 117. Okay. And that school is located at 176th Street and Morris Avenue. It's still there today. Mm-hmm. It's still there. It's still there. So I went to that school um, and then I graduated. And I, I still have pictures of my. The graduation, I was, I was tall. I was, I was, for me being, you know, uh-huh. I was tall back then. I was tall and lanky. And I remember my mom, oh, this is your cap and gown, you know, this is, oh, we got to go to graduate. Oh, she, my mom and my aunt was the only one who came to the graduation. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I, mean, I, I don't know, back then, I, I just wanted to graduate. Right. Oh, you got to get that piece of paper. Because remember, from junior high school, it's high school. And that's where the big boys play. Big right. that's, the, that, that's, the, that's the big boys. Mm-hmm. Between junior high and high school, that's gonna make you a man. Uh, you are gonna be a little boy. So I was, I was, I was at, at the crossroads. Um, oh yeah, uh, that's when you get involved with girls. Now you know you got girlfriends. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> That's when you want to get all dressed up. You don't want to wear the same clothes every day. You gotta get some. You, know, you gotta have something going on back. Then. You want to put the waves in your hair. You know what I'm saying? You wanna, you wanna, you wanna. That, that, that's when. I mean, it's no more snapping. Oh, you know, you know when you go to school, you guy you snap on your sock. Oh, you wore those socks yesterday, man. I, you know, I ain't know that shit. So, so that's when you you really gotta step your game up from from junior high to high school. You gotta step your game up now. Remember, your mom. Your mom didn't give me no more quarters for candy and all that old shit. Right. You know, ain't, ain't no more of that going to the candy store. With, I mean, I mean, you can't go to high school. It, not not lunch. No, no, no. There's no more freebie lunch here. You gotta go outside and buy your lunch. You can't. You, you can't go to school hungry. You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't it ain't like we live down the block. Go around. Oh man, um, I'm going to my mom's house for for lunch. And you run back in, and you know, nah, you gotta have some money, man. Sure. You gotta keep money in your pocket. Mm-hmm. So, so I, I said, um, you know, I'm up there in age. You know, let me, let me, let me get an uh, after school job. That's that's one thing kids don't know about today. These kids, in, in, um, these kids that go to high school right now, tenth grade, ninth grade, get an after school job. Get a po- no full time, part time. You bring well, I mean, I mean, back then, I'm, I'm talking back then. I had an after school job, four hours, and I go back home. Mm-hmm. But what, sixty, seventy, eighty dollars in my pocket? Yeah. I don't even think it was that. I don't even think it was that much. Who knows? I only worked four hours a day. <laughs> but, but, but what I'm trying to get to is, 
I had a job. I had money in my pocket. You don't want to come to school with, with no money. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, cutting off. Everybody going to the pizza shop. You know what I'm saying? Everybody went extra cheese on their shit. They want sausages. <laughs> you know, you got to follow some money. You know, you probably got a little girl who's interested in what you want to try to show up for her. Mm-hmm. Come on, I treat you. Or not. You know, you still in the right girl's letter. Yeah, uh, yeah. I love you. I like you. I don't know. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm going through my experience. My experience was <laughs> I had a job. After school job. I don't care. You go flip burgers. Mm-hmm. Like, These kids act like they're too proud to go flip burgers. McDonald's, this is a McDonald's job. McDonald's, get that job, you get that job at the top of the finger. Mm-hmm. But, but at least it's a start. That's right. You know, it, you know, it, if you want to, if you want a career, you want to work on, or you want to be a cop, or you want to, whatever you want to do, you can do it. But everybody started from somewhere. Mm-hmm. You got to start from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be asking your parents for money. Ugh. You too old to be asking your mother for, 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 for money for lunch. Ma, Ma, I get No, no, man, you, you, you almost 18 years old. You still asking your mother for money? Go ahead and get your own. Nah, uh, uh, I'm speaking from my experience. Mm-hmm. I couldn't do it. Because the last thing I asked my mom for, and I, I can really say this, I, I was 13 years old. 13. And I asked my mom to buy me a bike. Boy, well, I can't afford it. Okay. After that, no actually nothing else no more. When I don't get my own money, when I don't get my own hustle, I don't care how I got it, I got it. Let me know, I got a bike. Yeah, boy, we get that bike from mine. I bought it. It's mine. Oh, I get that. Uh, no, she, she, she can't say, don't don't leave in the house. The house too damn big. Matter of fact, it's in my room. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She can't say. Oh, don't bring that bike in my house. No, 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 Mom, I bought this. What are you talking about? I, I, pay, I don't care how I got it, but I bought it. Even if I got it on layaway. Mama, mama, layaway game, I don't know what layaway. Can you still do layaway today? Layaway? Probably so. For the even even, my, even mm-hmm. my pet, five dollars, whatever. I'm getting it out. But besides, bikes back then wasn't wasn't expensive. You get a brand new bike for probably sixty, seventy dollars back then. Well, I'm just, I'm just telling you this from my experience. And after that, I never asked my mother for nothing else, no more, no more ever. Since since I was 13, and I'm 60 now. Wow. Now, what are your memories of gang activities in your old neighborhood in the Bronx, if any? Gang, Would you like well, to talk to us about that? Yeah. Your memories? I, yeah gangs, oh boy. Well, from Harlem. I came from Harlem. They were, we, we, I didn't see no gang. The only gang I seen was the motorcycle gang that that lived by that uh, that was by the fish and chip store on 11th Street. Yeah. They had a little they had a little club right there yeah. in the cut. And but when I, but when I, when I came to the Bronx, uh, uh, oh the gang the gang uh, the gangs I see was the Black Spades, the Ghetto Brothers. Uh, Black Gestapo's, uh, who else? Um, Chingling, they, they came later. Um, Black Spades, they, they were the ones that dominated the area where I, where I remember in the Bronx, especially around my grandmother. But I, my grandmother, she lived to, um, that's when she moved to um, Bathgate and Tremont. And I remember the, the Black Spades ran rapid over there. But, you know, but that gang, that gang life never, Appeal to me, but uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I was I was drawing and writing back then, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying so. What I want to do with the gang? They, they wear the same clothes, not not to say anything negative about them. You got to wear the same jacket every day. You can't wear them. I, I had a denim jacket one day, and the guy came up to me, "Hey, what gang you?" I said, "Gang, I ain't no gang." Oh, let me see your jacket, your color. I have my RD jacket on. I, I probably had it. I don't know what I got up my pipe. But back then, you know, you remember Lee. Lee was very popular back then. Mm-hmm, yeah. Lee, Wrangler. Right. So I had a Lee jacket, and two guys ran up on me. Yo, man, what game you want? I said, I ain't no game. Oh, let me see your jacket. Okay, well, your jacket's brand new, man. I ain't no game. So I don't know. Uh, 
the re- re- recruitment, whatever. Mm-hmm. But I, I was never in no gang. I, I, I didn't, I didn't see no need to be in the gang. I had seven, eight brothers. <laughs> not only that, I had a lot of uncles. And not only that, they knew, they knew people. And I, I, and I knew people who actually, who I could, you know, what, what, besides, I'm not even a fighter. What would I be in a gang for? Huh? I don't want to walk around bandana. I don't need no girl to be in no gang. I, I, I just thought, I just can't see a figure out what would they purpose. Hmm? What? Walk around with a billy club and a stick? Walk around with chains and tattoos up and down your arm? Bandanas? But, hey, <clears throat> speech is on. Most of them, most of them probably did drugs, on drugs, walking around with zip guns. And, mm-hmm. I, 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 I mean, I didn't see no need to be in the game, mm-hmm. straight up and down, because I'm pretty sure I, I could never be able to look my mother in the face and my mother looked down. Oh boy, this is this how this how I raise you. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, we used to go to church every day, like every other day. Yeah, we were raised practically in the church. Mm-hmm. I thought, you, I thought y'all never say this, but we went to church every other day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So why I look like? <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm trying to like grasp all, all this mm-hmm. to 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 say that how how do you be brought up in a church and and turn around and 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 live like this. We, we didn't do that. Mm-hmm. No. But for all the people who did do it, hey, I, I, I don't know. I, I just didn't see no no use in it. Mm-hmm. You wear the same, you walk around with, with, the, with the get, you know, whatever the side you got on the back, you walk until you scare the old ladies and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People, people, I, I mean, I, mean I, I, I just, to this day, out of my own mouth, can't say, I, 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 I was never in the game. I, I, I even tried to be in the game. Because mm-hmm. I didn't need to be in the game. My uncle taught me how to fight. I went to the boys club. I was, I was, I was in the boys club, for, in, for instance. Mm-hmm. Go to the boys club. Take up boxing. We used to... We used to I, I, I'm, a, I'm a good pool player. I, I'll fight. Mm-hmm. I'm a good pool shooter. I'm a pool shooter. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, but that was something that the game genre... I, I ain't seen no notion in it. I'm yeah. talking from my experience. Yeah. Yeah. But they want to wander around the neighborhood, want to hang out. And I didn't see no life in that. I mean, it's, I, I mean, you're 30, 40 years old, and you stand on a corner every day with a can of beer. And that's, that's, not, that's, not, that's not living. Mm-hmm. That's not living. To me, that's not living. Okay? That's, that's my final word as far as the game genre goes. I ain't actually no use in it. Got it. Got it. That, that was really interesting. Now, Butch, too, is going to take over and start asking you some more graffiti-centric, specific questions. Butch, right. too, take it away. All right. Great. Not questions, but How just... You doing, brother? What's going on, brother? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thanks, Thanks for being here. I much appreciate it. Yeah, we're just going to hit the graph era. Yeah. You know, about know. The, this movement that we created and yes. stuff like that. Yes, uh, I... I, I I, I can say truly that uh, I didn't create it. I was just part of it. And I, I feel honored to do what I did when I did it. Okay? This is, this is come from my heart. But I, I could truly say I don't know how I came in to this genre and write my name, do my art, and growing up and being the artist I am today. Because remember, remember, I, I had a long hiatus that I stopped. I only, only did graffiti for nine years. Nine years. All right? So out of nine years, I, I accomplished pretty much um, what, what satisfied me. I don't care if it satisfied the world or whatever, but I know I was satisfied. And I can really honestly say that I'm happy that I did what I did when I did it, even though at, at, at my age today, 
I I see no point in doing it unless unless I'm doing it for a dollar. Mm-hmm. And it's not even about the money. It's about just doing it just for the love. You know, to pass on to another upcoming artist. Somebody who who really wanna make a mark in their life. Because I I mean I'm pretty sure when I'm down in dirt, at least my name's gonna live on some kind of way. Yeah. And one of my paintings gonna be in somebody's house. They're gonna be in somebody's store. It, it's gonna be hanging somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, I mean it, I, I just can't fathom um, not making my mark while I'm still on this earth. Okay? Mm-hmm. I, I love all my friends that I accomplished through my journey. Because that's all what it is. It's a journey. Mm-hmm. And I made thousands of friends. Hundreds of friends. I, I made enough friends to count on my hands and toes. Mm-hmm. And you know, I I I was never a guy that put down no writer because we all started from somewhere. You know, any 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 writer come up to me, I I I will embrace them. I you know because I remember I used to be them. Oh man, I see the, oh I I see the guy. Sure. You know these artists that. Oh man, I can't wait to meet him. I mean, I mean, from a little kid looking in the in the candy store. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, it's it's, it's it's like you walking down the street, you're looking in the store, and you look at a favorite pair of shoes you want. Oh man, I want to get those shoes, man. Uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. You don't gotta go out and rob nobody. You know, just just work for it. I feel much better working for what I got than me stealing what I got. You understand? That's right. All right. That brings me to the question of, do you remember when you first saw writing? Yes. And, and where did you see it at? Where yes. was it at? Oh, no, 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 no. no. First of all, it's, it's, two, it's two sides to the story. All right. When I first seen it or when I first started? When Let's I first seen with, graffiti, yeah. I, I, when I first seen graffiti, I was probably six years old mm-hmm. on the Third Avenue L. Right. But when I started writing, um, I, I dropped the year. As between seventy five and seventy six. This this but when I first started started started, right. I went to first of all I didn't have a name. I had to come up with a name. Cause you just you just can't start writing without a name. So I came up with the name Band Two. Okay. Now Band Two was that that was a name that I I I really didn't start writing Band Two. I write Bang. And Bang was, um, it was, I seen it on the back of a record. My mom, my mom went to buy records, right? So she bought this record home, and I'm looking at the record, and I see Bang. <laughs> Bang? B-A-N-G. Bang. Bang. So I said, what the hell is this? I, I mean, I, I mean I, I'm pretty sure nobody even just come up with a name. I couldn't, I couldn't write my real name. Like I, I, I write my real name, why I know who the hell I am. <laughs> right. I can't go in my building right Nathan, Nathan, Nathan right. all the damn building, you know right. who? So I had to come up with a name that that um I, I mean it, it, to me it didn't it didn't fit me. It was just a name that I just seen mm-hmm. and I just figured out what a good thing. You know, like like <laughs> I, I I I mean I'm I'm trying to be, to, to keep it on a serious level. Mm-hmm. But I used to write bang and my penmanship was so lousy in school, I, I, I couldn't write the G. I couldn't write the G to save my name. So I said, right, well, bang. But I remember going to a, a hardware store on, on Mount Eaton Avenue. And I said, mister, I want to tell Mark. I, like, I mean, back then you could buy Mark, you know. Yeah. Right. So, so I bought the marker. It was an L Marco marker for I probably paid sixty nine cents for the marker, mm-hmm. uh-huh. <laughs> and, and, it, and the marker was black, had a black tip. The tip was, it, it was, it was kind of like a slant. And, you know, I, I, I had that marker in my pocket, and and I used to, I used to just walk around the, the block. First, I started in the neighborhood. I, I I didn't just go to the train. I I ain't know nothing about no train no, back then. I, I started 
in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. No, like in my building, in the exits and stuff. You know, in the exits, I go to the exits in the building. Right. And so I like bang, 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 bang. So, so I said, oh, this name ain't this name ain't for me. This name ain't getting it. And so um, I was home one day watching TV. <laughs> And this is, this is a true story. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making this up. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm looking at TV and I see the band, band low one, I the only way commercial yeah. and shit. <laughs> you know, I was, oh, this is band low one. And I, so the guy, so I said, oh, I said, who likes band? So I said, oh, so I, 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 didn't, I didn't know the meaning of the word band. You know, and I'm like, oh. it's just that it was a, it was a three letter word name and it, it seemed, to me, it, it, it just seemed like like the regular name. So what I did was I wanted to investigate the name first. I didn't just want to start writing the name and then someone else was writing it. And then that that, 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 that created conflict later on. Yeah. You know, you know when your writers got the same name mm -hmm. who, oh, no, 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 I'm the original, I'm the, you know, come on, the next thing you know, you're going to be fighting. The, <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't want a name where I had to clash with another guy to see who, who, you know, to, to be in competition with another writer who got the same name as you. I didn't want that. I, I, I just couldn't plan on that at that time. So what I did was, when I did, oh, I was still going to school. I was still going to school in Harlem. I was still taking the number, number four and I take the number six. And I, even in the D train, the CC, whatever. So when I got on the train, all I had to do was walk, walk between the cars, walk, you know, and, and look at all the tags and see if, if nobody's writing it. I said, oh, shit, nobody's writing the name. You know, you know I, I, this is what I actually did. I'm walking through the train. I'm looking at the names. I, you know, I'm look, I, I know who was up back then. Some, some of my idols who, who, who existed still to this day. Mm -hmm. I, I see their names up. Oh, I can't write that name. Oh, he got that. You know, so, so I didn't see no band. You going back to your band too? Yeah. Walking through the subway cars. Yeah. And as I was walking through the subway cars, I don't see the name nowhere in sight. So I said, I, I, so I went back home, sat down, and I started doing doing at the at a, you know at the dining room table with my mom's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's when I came up with the name band. But two, I don't know where the two came. Like right? it could have been band one. It could have just no, cause I. I, don't, I I I just don't know where the band two came from. Right. I know where band came from, but I don't know where the number two came from. Right. So, cause remember, remember, it is the band one. Okay. It is. I, I don't know. You know this, but I don't. Two sounds better though. Yeah, but but two was just something that just came out of the blue. I, and, I, and I just took it from there. I just ran with it. And so I. I went motion tagging. You know, I, you know, I had to go to the fort. Quote, quote, we lived on the Grand Concourse, and all they had was the D, the C, C, and the four. Mm -hmm. So I used to, I used to just, I got one early Saturday morning, and I went down the fort train. <laughs> and so I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in there like the next to last car. I was sitting down. You know, I'm, I'm, well, I must be 14 years old. 14. So all I see is the little Caucasian ladies getting up all of a sudden. Cause remember, the, the four went to the last stop, which was my shoe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all I see was, I'm, I'm, I'm still the black guy in the last, next to the last car. So it, it didn't dawn on me about the, the, the race thing back then. Oh, black women are not allowed this far. Yeah, that, right. But, but how can I be when when people went to D with Clinton? D with Clinton I found a D with Clinton is up there. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah. So all I, I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking back in, back then. Right. I mean, I mean, you, you next to that. All you see is Caucasian ladies getting up, walking, right. walking through the cars. Now, remember, all the car doors is open. You can, you can probably look from the, you can, you can actually look from the last car to the front car. And remember, subway cars were eight, nine, ten, ten cars long. All the doors is open and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, so I just took up my market and started. Tagging and stuff. Oh, this fucking walk is dry. Uh, <laughs> only took three tags and the shit's not ready. Uh, oh, man, I gotta go buy another one. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like, 
I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know nothing about shaking it like that and let the let the ink flow. Remember, it ain't no, ain't no ink in them shits. Once, once you tag, that's it. So, so I'm like looking for spots. I'm looking, you know, I, I already see my spot because I'm sitting down waiting for waiting for the car to clear. Come on, people still still in, in the car. So, so when they get close to the last stop, that's when they get up and start walking to the front. You know. You know so you know, I, I don't want lady thing. I'm, I'm a mother. Like I want to take a pocketbook and all that shit. Mm-hmm. So I, so I started the motion tagging thing. You know, I said, man, this shit ain't working for me, man. <laughs> I won't, I won't all the way to the to the last stop for nothing, man. I only got three tags. <laughs> oh, so, so, so I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm right in the face. I'm mad. The next thing you know, at the last stop, I gotta walk back to the front now. And the, the guys, the conductor, oh, I just gotta get off the train. You know, they looking at, oh, oh he's up to no good. Yeah. You know, they start, they start looking, at, you know, they start looking at you and shit. You know, so, <clears throat> so I said, oh, this ain't this 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 motion tag and shit ain't working for me, man. And then I, not only that, I I did it to a six line too. Cause I can remember that was the only line that I remember going to school. Mm-hmm. So I rolled down to 125th Street with the same marker now, and, uh, and uh, you know I, I got on the six train. Now remember, the six trains go all the way to Pelham Bay. Yeah. Not just as bad as, as going up to the last of the four. Just Pelham yeah. Bay, there was there was you know, no there was no black people back you know going that far that far deep on the six train. So oh. so so I I I did it on the six train. Uh, Went to the last car. I started writing my name. After after that, I said, "Nah, this this motion this motion tag is ain't working for me." I said, "Nah, nah." So, you know, I I, I but that's how I started. And next thing you know, I started meeting writers, going to Knox House. I met Kit Seventeen. I met Knocko, but not no Knocko Dandy. I met, that's one of the first writers who I met back then. I met Snake. Uh, I met, um, later on, I met Fuzz One. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I mean, I, I mean, this, 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 this is when I was going to Knox House on a, on a, on a regular basis now. <laughs> you know, like his mom was cool, his pop was cool. And his sister, his brother Dougie, you know, he's had a little dog. And, oh, God. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so I, I I just I just guess I evolved from from there. You know, I started getting better markers. I started getting ink. So you know, I I, I just started getting paint. You know, I I couldn't keep that stuff in my house. My mom threw it out. All right. She she actually threw out my stuff. <laughs> I said, "Well, I like threw my stuff out. I had a hit in it. Did you see my?" All right, let me let me back you up for a second. Yeah. Uh, what was it that captured your interest? What really made you get that graph bug? What, what, what was it? <laughs> oh God, that uh, that that had to come from me being me. You know, cause I wrote this, I wrote train every day. I wrote train every, I wrote train to school. Right. I wrote train train to work. I just wanted to see my name. I don't care. I don't care how I got up there. I want to see my name. I don't want to be on the train reading no newspaper. I don't want to wait till somebody throw out <laughs> the newspaper to throw it to right. you know, little people. You know, not there. They, 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 you know, I, I just want to see my name. I I, I didn't care right. what I had to do. I just want to get my name. Because all you can do is, well, you, you have to build your image. It's all about building the image. I didn't just want to be a, a nobody unknown. No, I wanted my name up there. So that that's what gravitated me, motivated me. Um, um, I, I didn't I didn't kind of rely on nobody because I used to kind of rely on a specific person. Mm-hmm. They always put they always don't, don't show up. They don't call you. Remember, there was no cell phone. Mm-hmm. So you you call somebody's house and the numbers. The number's busy, and you put the phone up, and your quarter don't come back down. And you don't got no more quarters. Oh man, <laughs> I ain't walking all the way to this dude's house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
I ain't walking all the way to this dude's house and we supposed to meet at the bench and all this stuff. Right. Nah, nah, nah. So, so, so that killed that. You know what I'm saying? And then, I, I mean, it just that. Uh, it just, it, uh, it, oh God, I just go on and on with the stories. Wait for Melvin and stuff. Wait for not. Come on, not guys. You know, I got some pink wine. Let's go. You know, he, he, he taking too long. You know, I, you know, I got old school in the morning, man. My mom. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm talking. There was no cell phone. Mm -hmm. So when your mom seen you go out the house, she don't know when you coming back. She didn't know. She didn't have no 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 way of contacting you. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? It was there was no beepers. What? Once you leave the house, you leave the house. Mom, you back. I'm going to my girl. I'm not, right. You know, whatever she believe, whatever she, she going to believe what you say. Because mm -hmm. she assumed, oh, you know, you know I mean, she probably cooked for me or whatever. I got food. You know, but but once, I, once I left that house, mom, I, I, I probably won't be back for two or three days. Who knows? And don't get busted. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Trouble. Yeah. You got to get that call. You gotta get that call from the cop, from, from spotting and all that other stuff. No, 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 no. So I mean, I mean, as I as I go back to when I was doing my thing, mm -hmm. I I counted on myself. I relied on myself, and I mean, I I I, I went with some cats that who um who was still chasing that fame, just like I was chasing it. But as as I as I got a little more involved in believing in myself, um, I mean, it was like I was scared. I already, I already knew the third rail. I already knew, you know, I'm the ends out. Oh, I get, I get chased. I already know where to run or how to run. You know, I don't know. I, I've been chased a few times, and you know, you know, it's, I mean, it, I, I go on and on and on mm -hmm. with stories. But I know, you know, for myself. I, I I virtually went along by myself most of the time. Right. Like some of the time, even even when I went with a bunch of bunch of guys, or whatever, we got chased out the one tunnel. We got raided in the courtyard. We got raided in the D yard. You know, I, you know one, one, one time some DTs walked up to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, I mean, oh boy, uh, take all take all the ink and stuff out of your pocket. I said, what? And then you know, we, we oh man, this guy, this cop actually made us. Throw out all our markers, put it on the on the on the, on the chair, and get on the train, and get the hell out of here. He took our markers, our ink, our paint. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh man, so I, that's why I don't like going with a crowd. Right. Yeah. But everybody's a bomb. They, they got ink all over their shoes. They got clothes. They, they look like writer. You can tell a writer. You can tell a writer. I can tell a writer yeah, just by looking at. Of course. Just 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 just. just you know, you go to you go to the subway to train. Say you, you can tell right by the way he look at the train. <laughs> oh, 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 he right. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, he right. Yeah, what you right? You know. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so as, as I going back to to what you were saying, I I, I just started going by myself. Mm -hmm. I just wanted, you know, to just do my thing. Mm -hmm. I don't care how I did it. Just, I mean, I mean, I I didn't. Now, I wasn't even really a real artist back then. It's just that I I just paint what I felt. Even even if I did an outline in school, oh this is what I'm gonna do. And, well, I don't know. Oh you know I get up out of get up up out of my bed in the middle of the night. You know I come back. I mean back then it was really it was hard for me to go, and it was easy too. Cause remember I I just had a mom. I lived with my mom. She was hardly home. She was at the boyfriend house, you know. So, but no, you no, know, she, she did her job, you know. I, I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. But, but once I got up in age, like in, in that, in that, in that age bracket that I, I started writing, she, she knew I was a good boy. Well, I, I, I presume she knew I was a good boy, mm -hmm. you know. Cause, cause first of all, I wasn't, I wasn't constantly getting locked up. I wasn't constantly getting arrested. Oh, we'll. Oh, we 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 don't got the cops calling, coming to my house looking for him. You know, when you got the cops looking for you, so they get right. that phone call. Right. She figured I was all right. right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, it was it was it was hard, and then it wasn't hard, cause you got you got to put on this whole face. If I say, you know, it's like it's, you know, it's like a chameleon. You got to change your your appearance, you got to change your attitude. You know, 
Oh, oh, he going out with his friends. But she knew my friends. She knew my friends were good boys, so she figured I was cool. And, and like, you, you know, I mean, these parents, they had that, that you know, they, they could tell when a kid is doing wrong, doing bad, out there doing no good. But but she never, she never got a phone call from the cops for me. Oh, yeah, oh, we got your son down here for a robbery. No, 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 no. That's what, what, graffiti? That's what he wanted to do is do, do graffiti. Yeah. But then as, as I got older, you, 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 it kind of, it kind of outgrows you because now um, they look. Oh, oh you, you too old to be doing that. Yeah, you know, you got, you got people looking at. That's why I don't like street tagging. Street tagging gets you busted too. <laughs> I don't like street tagging. Oh, look, look, you know, old, old ladies walking by you, looking at. They, they see you doing shit in the street. You know, look at this old dude doing. Nah, nah, I, 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 I didn't want to be laughed at. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. People go back and work it around. Oh, yeah. oh, mm-hmm. you, uh, you seen Miss Pippin's son? Uh, uh, look what he did. Uh, I don't know. Man. I, I, I just didn't want to pick my mother do that agony. Right. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? I, I, I just couldn't do it. And so, uh, I mean, to this day, I, I, I just can't see myself doing it. I was just doing it on canvas. Uh, do a wall, you know, whatever people, whatever people are doing out there, you know, I, I don't know. It's just me. Not, not that I have anything to prove, but like I said, I already, I already did. That's what right. I to do. That's right. And I already made my mark, so it's, it's no need for me to go any further. Exactly. Nice. What are your earliest memories of the Third Avenue L? And did you ever get a chance to hit it? You ever? No. Never hit it. I. Well, at that time, I was. Like 12, 13. I don't think I was 12. I probably been about 10, 11 years old at least. Correct? They tore that down in 71, 72. I remember I was born in 62, so that makes me 10 years old. But when I was 10 years old, it was there. About 10 years old, oh, I, I'm not riding on no train at 10 years old. I could yeah. barely. <laughs> yeah. 10 years old, no, 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 no. My mom, my mom would, matter of fact, I, I'll get, uh, I, I really can't say it on video. But i tell you this, I wouldn't be here today if my mom would have knew I was 10 years old riding on the train. <laughs> right, running up and down the subway. Yeah. You know, and then, and then I, didn't, I didn't know nothing about how to get paint and stuff back back then. I, I actually thought it was brush paint. I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't know spray paint even uh, existed back then. I thought people was, was, was brushing their name on the train. Yeah. But I, 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 I did not get involved with graffiti at that age. I didn't, I didn't come on until later on. So, so, so I can honestly say, well, I did see it. It did exist. And you know what? To me, I, I, I wish I, I could have started back then. Because you know why? Because that boosts your resume. Mm-hmm. For the earlier you start, mm-hmm. you know, the better. You don't want to start defeating your, your 30s and 40s. Mm-hmm. You know, you see all these guys, oh, 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 oh I was riding. Um, no, you wasn't. I knew who was around Thank back you. then. So you're lying. Don't, 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 don't fucking lie in my face. Say you was riding back in back then. I, I didn't see your name. You, you from you. where? So you got, you got these people trying to manipulate, mm-hmm. trying to come up with these, these phony. Um, yep. Start starting stories. No, you didn't start in no 80, 81. No, you didn't start in 82. No, hell no. You probably start when I left. I, I gotta tell you, I, I, I probably rocked for that. But you didn't start, you know, 70, 73, 74. I, I, I knew who was around back then. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I mean, I mean let's, let's go on and on and on. We all know in the graffiti game who was out there back then. We all know. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but tell us some some about some of your other names. I, I think you have a few other yeah, names um, that you go by. <laughs> tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, don't uh I I had a few aliases that I, I came up with due to the fact that the building where I moved it was where we lived at, Lewis Morris, my mama knew me as Van too. <laughs> so I had to come up with uh oh, my Boy, stop writing your name on the damn wall. You know, but back then, um, you know, 
it was it wasn't like management got a hold of her. Yo, your son is no 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 no. It was none of that back then. It just that I just stopped. I just came up with another name. Oh okay. Oh yeah. Well now now she's on to me. Now she's on to me. <laughs> and so so other people on to me. Okay okay. So now I gotta switch it up now. Right. Come, right. come up with it. Come up with it. AK. <laughs> now the first AK I came up with was Delhi. Delhi came from. Uh, I, I was a foot messenger uh, on 24th Street, and the supervisor sent me to the store to get a. And, and I'm talking, oh, wow, what? This was back in 70, 79. Yeah, 1979. I came up with the name Delhi in 1979. But he didn't say go to the Delhi, he said go to the Delhi Contestant. Because mm -hmm. back then, all you see is the contestant. Right. So I said, oh, it's, it's, that name is long. That name got too many S's and it's, you know, all <laughs> shit. <laughs> so, so I went, so I'm looking at the store sign, so I'm standing outside waiting for this hamburger. And he gave me about $5 for a hamburger back then. I said, oh, what's a hamburger called this much back then? I mean, so, so, you, so people who pay $12 for a hamburger today, that same $12 hamburger you buy today, was five dollars back then. Mm -hmm. It's the same burger. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm waiting outside for his hamburger. And I look at the sign. I said, "Damn, who don't even write that name?" All right, I said, "Name right, right, Deli." Do the name right, right, Deli? I said, "No, no, no." First of all, that name is too long to be right. Name too long. So I said, "Well, how about the Deli?" I don't see nobody writing. <laughs> I don't see nobody writing Deli. So I said, no. I said, yo, I said, fuck it. I'm gonna start writing that name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I said, I said, oh, oh, okay. Now, now, why, why do you got the one six seven behind the deli? Now the one six seven I got from Knock. I got it from Knock. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So I said, oh, oh okay. Let me just, let me start writing deli one six seven. So that's where that's where the birth of, of that name came from. But that that that's uh, that's one name that I I really love because it, it sounds. It's, I mean, the way it sounds. Mm -hmm. Not only the way it sounds. Look 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 at the lettering. It's an easy name. It's an easy name to piece. You know you know you got to think about that too because some you know a guy got names that that have Z's and stuff and Q you know. These, these guys, yeah. they can't piece. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. They can't even tag a, a much right with, with that alphabetical, mm -hmm. that 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 little name right there. I don't to tell you the truth. I don't know how some guys came up with some of these hard ass names like Aztec. Aztec. Remember Aztec? Yeah. Yeah. Aztec. You know. You know. I. I. I like Zephyr. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you come up with. You gotta write the Z, mm -hmm. uh, the Y. I don't, I don't know, but but he stuck it. He stuck with it. So yeah, yeah. I just wanted something that was easy, something that was simple, something that was catchy, and and to this day, I don't see nobody else copying it. I don't see nobody else mimicking it. Right. I don't see nobody writing Dudley one, Dudley two, Dudley three, Dudley different number. I don't, I don't see nobody writing that name. <laughs> Not that, I, I mean, honestly speaking. Now, I wrote that, I came up with that name in 1979. And to this day, I don't see nobody writing. Still rocking. Yeah. So, I wanted it to be unique. I wanted to come up with a name that stuck. And I didn't want nobody biting it. Because, you know, I mean, I, mean, I hate story guys. Oh, you know, beating up, you know, going to fight. Or yeah. actually mm -hmm. come to class with wars over oh, somebody biting their name. No, yo, 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 that's my name. Don't write that. You, you gotta actually step to people, yo, don't write that name. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That still goes on? <laughs> Somewhat. Say yeah, say yeah. Somewhat. It's, it does. It does. It does. I, I, I know I went I, I know I went on back then. So it, it has to be an ego thing. Mm -hmm. It's an ego thing, because that's that's all we graffiti is. It's an ego thing. It's all about boosting your ego. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's boosting your ego. Right. 
you want to be this bad mother effer, you know. It's all about ego. But but pushing away from that is, you know, you, you, you try to, you want to channel away from that. Because we, we're not 17, 18, 19 years old anymore. Right. We, we're down there 50, 60 years old. Mm -hmm. So what do we look like still doing what we did back then? Right. You, you got to grow you, up. You want to grow up. Yeah. You got to be a man. You, you want to try to try to broaden, you know, just, just try to do what you can do. If you if you get rich off it like Picasso, you know you know if you can make a, a history of it, if you, you could just do what you love, mm -hmm. and if you want to spread it, spread it, or you want to um, try to try to pass it on to somebody or whatever, you know, just do what you do for the love of what you want to do or how you want, right. want to do it. It's not about meeting this guy to fight him, man. You know, you know, you know, come on. I owe a graffiti. Ain't like you owe me. Ain't like you owe me money. Ain't like you owe me a thousand dollars over over just doing artwork. Like the even even when people cross you out, oh, why you cross me out? Yeah, you, you know, you know, you know. I, I have a little cross out walls with, with my this. Yeah, that that's that 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 didn't seem to get out of hand, but mm -hmm. it has to be a, a, apologetic. Oh, I'm sorry. I, you know, I don't know. You can come up with excuse. Oh. Oh, it was dark. I I, I, just, I couldn't see in the tunnel. You know, oh, something, right? Say something, but but to go, to go in too deep, that could be a dangerous thing. It it, it has turned into yeah. a dangerous thing. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know. To, to each his own. Um, we just artists. We we label as artists, not vandals. Right. Okay. Not thugs. Not gangsters. We just doing art. All right, yeah. I'm gonna take you backwards for oh, a minute. Oh, I think with the aliases. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Mama, I like I I to write Dean with the double E. I I did yeah. it. I did that for for a little while, and I I did the Bravo, Mama Bravo too. Mm -hmm. I came up with the name Bravo. Nobody nobody wrote Bravo, and that that derived from um the Bravo potato chip. Mama Bravo potato yeah. chips. Mm -hmm. I used to love that name Bravo. He was he was down to B family. Yeah. yeah, yeah, And I also wrote, I also wrote S one twenty seven. S S but S but S was a that was a a quick throwy name okay. that I came up with. But that 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 name didn't last long. Mm -hmm. But the only only two names that I I really wanted to stick to was Bantu and Delta. Right. That's it. That worked for you. Yeah. Something something that really. Uh, that really uh, hit hit me right where I wanted to be. Those those two names was my pinnacle. Those are my pinnacle names right. that, that I'm known for. Bantu and Delhi. All right. Yeah. All right. I, I want to go backwards for a second. Um, to the days when you had that little El Marco. Yeah. You rolled all the way up town on the four. <laughs> you only got three tags out of it. You went all the way up on the six. Yeah. And it was dry as desert. Yeah. I, I what, what did you What did you do? How did you progress from there? What did you learn? I, what did you figure out? Where did you go from there? I I got I got in contact with some graffiti writers, and they introduced me to a pilot marker. Mm. Pilot. The pilot. The pilot. That pilot, brand new back then, was probably two dollars. I. I hustled up some money. I hustled, yeah. I hustled I, you, know, you know, I used to go to the store for people in the right. building. All kind of everything. Yeah, there's all those sell newspapers. So that was my first mark I bought was a pilot. It was better. It was bigger. It was bulky. The tip was, you know, it, it, it lasted, it lasted, it lasted more than, better than that little 69 bullshit I had. So I, I got introduced to that pilot. And then I didn't know that when you take the pile and you twist it, you can open it up. You, it. You, you, you can pull out the eraser. They have the eraser. And, and now I need ink. I got introduced to Flowmaster. Yeah. Flowmaster. Not Marsh. I have, oh, Flow, the, the Flowmaster ink, that, that shit was so hard to get. I used to go to the store. <clears throat> oh, oh, 
Let's get him behind the glass case yeah, and right. stuff, man. Yeah. How much yeah. that ain't messing up? But but back then, they, they didn't know what it was for. Right. They, it, it wasn't it wasn't labeled as a graffiti utensil. It was it was basically basically for um stamping the the supermarket. The supermarket. You know, back then, mm -hmm. there, that, that's the you know you go to the supermarket, the guys. Yeah, all the canned goods, they stamping them, blah, 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 blah. you know, like like a state. You know, mm -hmm. that was that was that was for flow master before. But back then, that, that, that little can cost like four four dollars or mm -hmm. something shit like that. Mm -hmm. You know how hard it was to get four dollars back in nineteen seventy nine. Shh. <laughs> and so, <clears throat> and so, um, I I I started with that. You know, I I, I still went to the motion thing. You know. I, this shit ain't working, man. Now I'm walking around with a mic, I'm walking around with a big manual marker. Only one. It ain't like I had five, six, whatever. Only had one because that's what, what I could afford at the time. And that's all what I had. That's all what I had had to, to, to rock with. Right, right. <clears throat> so I did the same thing, the motion tagging thing. Wait till the last car. And then after, after a while, that that got bored because it's it's, it's not only did it, did it get bored, it's just that it's time consuming. Cause you gotta wait to the you gotta wait to the car clear out. You gotta wait to you gotta wait to the old, the old man keep looking at you. Why why the fucking old man keep looking at me? <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't you can't make a move until you know like, you can't make a move until they move. Up. You know, it's just, it was crazy, man. <laughs> I said, yo, I said, yo, it's another again where I do this motion tag and shit. So then, next thing you graduate, because it's, it's, it's a step process. Okay, you start at the bottom and you work your way up. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's like getting promoted. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, I had to get a key. <laughs> remember the old skeleton key? Skeleton key. key. Yeah, remember them? Yeah. Well, yeah well. well, my first one broke. I went to twist it off the door and shit went clink. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> I had to go get another one. I mean, I mean, not only that, the shit will spoil your night because you got to rely on that key mm -hmm. for, the, for the door. You you on that key, the key was the A skinny. Yeah. And you go go to the hardware store and the guy will file for you and all that shit. <laughs> so, so, I, so, I mean, I mean, that, you know. Mm -hmm. But back then, I mean, I'm talking back the yard, all, all the doors was unlocked. All the doors were factory open. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but now you, you, you need a key today. Exactly. I, I can imagine today yeah. you need a key. But back then, the doors would be open. Oh, you got to open the door, man. You, you, you got to be quiet and shit. You know. I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I went with the layup, with the yards. But um, but still, no, I, I had that key, and that was only one key. And and I mean. I mean, I mean, I started on the IRTs. I didn't, I didn't start on the BMTs, IEDs. I started on the I, IRTs, the IRTs. And, and, you know, then next thing you know, you step your game up, and now you're getting spray paint. Yeah. How did you get your paint? Well, my first can, my first ever can of spray paint, I had a other, other rack. I, I mean, rack was... I mean, I, I stole it. it. Was a can of um, Red Devil. Um, I believe it was Roy Blue. Roy Blue. And I remember the store too. The store. Right? <laughs> I yeah, remember yeah. the store. Right there on Mount Eaton. Mount Eaton um, off the Grand Concourse. Mm -hmm. As you walk down that hill mm -hmm. from Mount Eaton on the Grand Concourse, it was a hardware store on the right hand side. I went in a hardware store and I took a can of Red Devil, baby blue paint. Uh, you know, you know. I mean, I, I mean, I just threw it in my pocket, you know, real quick. You know, I, I, I mean, I—that was my first can I ever experienced was Red Devil. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, I mean, I'm talking before Bustolium, before Krylon. Mm -hmm. It was Red Devil, mm -hmm. and I remember that can Bailey. I took it out. I said, oh shit! I got can of paint now. now. <laughs> So, so I do the same thing. Get back on the, get back on the floor. Get the last next that last car. Wait till we get to pass Marshall or whatever. Mm -hmm. We get past right. the last stop. Now, like now, I'm tagging my name with Faith. Now, 
I I I feel like I had to camping out. Right. No, no one imagine why that's faith. You know? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm talking from my experience. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it's every kid's experience. When you graduate from a market to spray paint, it's a whole different ball game. Mm-hmm. Because now, you, you know, you, you're tagging with paint now. I mean, the, the tag might be sloppy, but at least it's there. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's going to get noticed, you know. So, you, you know, you, you, you're looking for spots to go, damn, this train's bomb. You go to the doors, you go... Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, you try, you try to find the headline, the panels and stuff. I, I, I remember going through that, that transition mm-hmm. as, as a young, young artist. Right. And I, I felt like I accomplished something. Oh, I got my first canvas free <laughs> paint. And, and I, I felt so overwhelmed and overjoyed that from right through there, I got the bug. And and the frenzy, it, it just hits you. It hits you like 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 a damn high. That's all it. That's all it is. It's a high. Yeah. Cause once once you once you get into it, you gonna wanna expand even bigger and broader. So it, it's it's. I mean, it's that intestinal fortitude you have in you mm-hmm. to just go out and and just do it. I, I, I mean, it's it's easier said than done. Mm-hmm. But I'm I'm telling you from. My experience. That's how I started, and it just snowballed from there. You know, you, you, you got um, and and I'm talking like I'm, I'm still a nobody. I'm unknown. I was still a nobody, but today I am somebody. I'm, I'm pretty sure um, a lot of people know me now more than more than when I started. So you, you know. It's, let me let me interrupt you for a second. Yes. Please name your biggest heist of pain. Where were you at? Uh, you, I, tell me about your biggest pain heist. Pain heist. Oh. <laughs> Racking, whatever you know. Just tell me um, about that. Okay. I I I remember uh, Martin Paints on Gun Hill. Mm-hmm. I remember them. On what was the Boston Road? Mm-hmm. Off Boston Road. Right there. That, that Martin paints in there. Mm-hmm. I went there on an early Saturday morning, early Saturday morning, and I, I I'm not lying. I went in that store four times. <laughs> that's how you should that's do how, it. That's how sweet it was. Yeah. I went in that store four times, and <clears throat> I mean, I mean, I, I just each time I went in, I must have took ten, fifteen cans. Mm. And that was a lot. That was a lot back then. That's a lot. It's a lot now. Yeah, I went in that store four times, at least four times, and I gave up. And I had to carry three shopping bags of paint back home. And I, I, I had, a, I had about a hundred cans of paint in Knox House, over a hundred cans. Wow. Cause I couldn't keep it in my house, and my mom I put it where. I didn't know no, you know. I kept a hundred over hundred cans of wow. paint in his house, yeah. and that's why that's why I just I just said you know I I just went to just go by myself because I did go to his house one day to get some paint to go to go do what I gotta do. Right. So his mom opened the door. Oh, he's not home. I said, oh, I left something in his room. I get my I I I couldn't tell it was nah, paint. Oh, he's not here. Wait till he come back. I need my paint. I gotta go hit him. After that, never again. Right. <laughs> never again after that. So uh, it's just so many stories, so many adventures. I mean, it's, it's, it's. I mean, it just goes back and forth and forth. You know. Yeah. I, I I even bought a picture to show you how we used to do. You know. See this picture? You can show this to the camera. See that picture? You see you see me? You know how old I was back then? About how twelve. Old? How old? I was there was, I was seventeen. Seventeen. Young man, man. I was seventeen back then. Mm-hmm. Seventeen years old. Seventeen. 
you know what? And you know, getting getting paint, getting getting paint back then was it, it was it was easy. It was easier than today. Oh yeah, was, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, you, you just walk in the store, put out two or three dollars and stuff. You know, people people then come up on you, run up on you. Uh, you know. All you gotta do is um, look like look like you're buying. You look, you know, I didn't go in there with five guys, six guys, one store. Go go by yourself. Right. Go by yourself. You you will not be noticed. People is not gonna gravitate to you. Just just look like you know what you're doing. Right. But you go in there with with five or six guys. <laughs> You're not going to even get one can. That's right. Just go by yourself. You know, you don't need no, no look out. Just go by yourself. Go by yourself. I, I went mainly by myself. Yeah. You know me can of paint I lost with stashes? I, I lost paint, too. Mm -hmm. It's not about getting, you know, getting is, getting is easy. But, but remember, we didn't have cars. I didn't have no car to drive around and throw it in my trunk. Nah, we used to walk in the store, walk out. Throw it in the grass, I hide it behind some dumpster, I go in some store, put it under the right, stairs right. and shit, budge your way into it. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't know. It just, but still in all, um, I can contest that with well, all the pieces I did. Eventually, I was, I was doing good. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, eventually I was doing good. For He's getting all, up. Yeah. For all the pieces I uh, you know, whatever that I I, I, I accomplish. I ain't, I ain't buy I ain't buy nam one can. I bought one can one time. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I did buy a can of paint. You know why? But I had fifteen in my back, so I had to play it all. Cause the guy see me there, right. he walked past me three times, so I'm still looking. You know, so eventually, I had to buy some. Right. Don't don't just go in the store and come out and don't buy nothing. I don't care you buy uh a. Uh, uh, a twenty-five cent spool, spool. Something. Buy it, just buy it. I, I mean, I, I'm just speaking from my experience. Mm -hmm. You know, because I, you know, I do see. You know, we we didn't have it that good. I, I ain't gonna lie. It was, you know, some backlash. You know, mm -hmm. to to go with the game also. Right. Always. It's all yeah. So so we had we had to overcome that obstacle. To you know, to get what we got to get, whatever. I mean, and then the ink, as the ink was concerned, I I went to uh, Pearl Paint in New Jersey. Oh, I went in there two times. Two times all I needed, hmm. and I came out. I came out. I came out of there with like 40, 40 quarts of ink. Forty, at least forty quarts. I had so much ink, I had to sell some. I couldn't keep it from what I was staying. So I had to get rid of it. Even even when I went to the yard, I, I left some behind. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't walk out the yard with ink. I I I stashed so much paint and shit in the yard, in the foyard. Just leave it behind. Never went back for it. I don't right. I don't care who found it. Yeah, I did my I did my whole car. I did my top to bottom. I did my 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 window down whatever. But I'm not walking out the yard with, with, no, with paint. no paint. No nah. paint, nah. Cause you get caught. Yeah. Oh, you know, but you get caught. Oh, oh, he just trespassing. Sometimes right. they just let you go. Oh my, what, what are you talking about? I just went over there to pee. Right. You know, but but but, but you got bag the paint and ink and marking <laughs> on you and shit. They don't know. They don't know what you went in there for. Right. <laughs> uh, did you ever go to the writer's bench on 49th Street? The writer's bench. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. The writer's bench. And that was a, a congregational place, and I remember that bench vaguely. I, because the twos and five ran through there. Yeah, and the four was upstairs. Yeah. Now the twos and five that that was that was the the most talked about line. Right at the back, time. Back in the in the late seventy early eighties, that was that was the most. You know, you oh, you, yeah. you 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 had to get on that line. Mm -hmm. Every known body who was anybody had to be on that line. Right. Even at the top of the helm, 
Common Blade, they had on Lock, TMT, Butch and Kate. You know, you guys, you guys put it down, you know, but you had the Fabulous Five. You had, what, this, I mean, boy, this, as, as, as I'm going back, I ain't, you know, you know, you know the big boy, that's what, that's the big boy line. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, but after a while, it just started diminishing. You had Stan 153, you had not. Yeah, fuzz. You know, you know these guys. Chain three. You know these guys really put it down on that on that line. Remember, remember, I'm, I'm, I'm talking back back in that time frame. Right. We're talking mm-hmm. the, the late seventies to early eighties. That that line was the most talked about. Comp- Everybody had to, even guys from Brooklyn had to come get on that line. Even though the line ran through Brooklyn anyway. Brooklyn guy, you didn't come. To, you didn't have to come to the Bronx to hit the two and five. You yeah, in Brooklyn, right? <clears throat> Just like guys from the Bronx. No, we didn't. We didn't. That, that 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 was the most uh, inferential, inferential line that I could even come up with for today. That it, that that experience back then. Mm-hmm. Even with some movies that come out, movies the film that they filmed they filmed the two and five line. Yeah. So, but um, but that 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 line that line was really the pinnacle of everybody who anybody had to be in that line. Right. Yeah. So you think that's what made it popular? The the bench. Everybody came. Everybody. Everybody came. Everybody came to the bench to meet up, to hang out. To plan to plan capers, right? Um, guy, just you know, and besides that, was, that was like a major caution to all the yeah. writers who went to school. Right. Cause remember, you had to switch here, switch right. here, you know. So every time before the class, we we at the bench. I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't know, guy. I don't know, a guy was late for class. They didn't care about the class. But that bench thing, you go to that bench thing. It'd be packed sometimes. It'd be packed, and the next thing you know, 10 minutes, be 15 minutes. Next thing you know, next thing you know, you're there, you're there uh, a whole hour or so. And next thing you know, the cops is there, the cops, the cops looking at the, on the top of the, uh, the bridge. Yeah, the bridge, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looking Thinking down like this. Yeah, try, to, try to tell you, hey, hey, um, damn, man, eight trains went by. You still standing here? You know, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So you, you had to you had to come down. Hey, you don't get on the next train. We're gonna take you in. Right. Yeah, they did that. So, I mean, <laughs> hey, hey, but the bench was the bench. That that bench lasted so long, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> that bench is still there today. Mm-hmm. It's still there. It's still there. But it's nothing to see. But rats. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, I have I have vague memories of that bench. That bench really. You yeah, know, like you said, after crossroads, yeah. crossroads. Yeah. Uh, well, what what layups did you hit? Where, where'd you go to do your piece? Layup, I, uh, I went to the four layup between. Now the four layups had a uh, few points of interest where they was laid up. What? Um, they they was laid up in one thirty eight between one thirty eight and one forty nine. On the tunnel. In the tunnel. Oh. This this is. Remember remember the train strike that had nineteen eighty eighty one. What was that eighty eighty one? When they had the train strike, yeah. Yeah. and they just laid everything up. Yeah, um, between 149th Street and 161st Street, to stick out. They had mm-hmm. a they had a little layup there. Right. They had the layup at 167th between Yankee between Yankee Stadium and 167th Street. Right. And they had the, the outside layup on um, Mount Eden from Mount Eden to Burnside. I I went to that layup. I. I went to the left between 183rd and Fordham. That, that, that I had a lot of memories of that layup. Mm. And um, you was just four lines. That layup, that layup between Fordham and Kingbridge. Mm-hmm. Where you, I used to go piece on the outside, on the right. downtown side. The mm. people who lived in the building across from there, they be looking at me. Oh, look at the people! Yo, right, right there, right, right there. You know the girls. <laughs> The girls are screaming out the window. They want you to write their name. You know, you know, you know I mean, I don't know if you ever been there, 
The land what? between um, Fort and Kingbridge. I know where it's at. I've yeah. seen it, but and um, they also had the Marshall Marshall lab. A little further there. up. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 the Bedford Park lab. I used mm-hmm. to hit that in broad daylight. Mm-hmm. We used to go in broad daylight and hit that. Even the one um, on the Marshall. I I I I, I did this deli piece there uh, in broad daylight. This piece, yeah. That was a quick one, or you spent your you that spent piece, time, that, or that piece was that piece was done in broad daylight. Right. I only only had what three cans of paint. <laughs> quick and simple. Right, and That's and station on on a. That's how you and do in it. the back in the back of the marshal, mm-hmm. that 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 train was made up in broad daylight. I mean, I mean, you see the windows are still mm-hmm. hasn't been buffed. I did that in broad daylight by myself, with no lookout. One box and also the foreyard was my right up there on, on the Tracy uh, Towers. Tracy Towers, right? Uh, the D yard, uh, my Bedford Park. You know that that was a that was a kill zone spot for me. Mm. I mean, what what I mean by that is that I I went there in broad daylight. I went I went there on Sundays. I went there on Saturday. You know, I, I didn't even, I didn't really choose the hot nights. The hot nights was Friday night, Saturday, Saturday night. night. Right. <laughs> I go on a Sunday, right? On uh, Monday, I I I I went in the middle of the week. That 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 yard was we, that was one yard that I avoid to go on the hot nights. Mm-hmm. I go you know go to the beginning of the week, cause at the, at the end of the week there ain't no you know everybody's doing it, <laughs> and I I. I the, the dreadful one tunnel between 137 and 145. Yeah. I I used to love that tunnel. That, I mean that that tunnel was nice because it, it had two sides, mm-hmm. it had the downtown side and the uptown side. I used to do both. I, I you know you know Fuzz was in part you know TDS TDS was killing on Broadway. That's yeah. right, well, part now. So <clears throat> then next thing you know, I started branching out. It wasn't it wasn't just about um, hit the subways. I, I you had to, for me personally. I had to branch out. Mm-hmm. I went to the buses. You know the buses. I went. To, I started hitting buses because I, I felt trains was enough for me. Enough of the train because there's a lot of people who, who like buses but don't like trains and True. vice versa. True. So they see your name on a bus. Damn, this guy name on the bus too. You know? So I hit mailboxes, mail mail truck, mail truck. No trucks. I I even went so far to write my name on police cars. Dangerous. Police cars. Nice. I I I uh, I, even, I even wrote my name in cabs. Yeah. You know you want to take a <laughs> you want to take a taxi. You know you get you have the petition here. You get the little money slot. You know the little you know the cab with the, the little money slot right there. But in the back, you know you see you know you get the the petition there. You get the seat. I take out a mark and write my name on the cab. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I, I, I personally wrote my name practically anywhere and everywhere. Cause remember, I was a messenger. Mm-hmm. So a messenger, I'm, I'm, um, I'm getting around. You know, they're giving me tokens and stuff. You know, so the guy gave me tokens. I, I, I get to pocket the tokens and just walk. Oh yeah. And just walk. And, uh, that was your pocket money. Yeah, that was my pocket. <laughs> well. And every time I go in the elevator, I pull my marker. Yeah. Every time I go in a, a building, I go in the stairwell. Mm-hmm. Oh, like my name. Uh, I ask the uh, reception, oh, Miss, can I use the bathroom? What's the key? What's the key to the bathroom? I go in the bathroom, go inside the store, yep. write my name on the store. Yep. <laughs> uh, you know, and, and this this is downtown. Mm-hmm. You know, not, a, a lot of messengers who was writers, that's that's how they got around too. Yeah. Like I heard, I heard Tacky was a, a messenger. That's how he got his name around too, because he's a messenger. Tacky one eight three. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I'm 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 holding up, I'm holding the elevator doors open and stuff. Can we hold, you know, you know, the elevator door? Right. There's two doors. If you stick your hand inside the elevator door and slide the little latch, the the outer door is gonna slide. Forward, right there. You just part of market tag your name right there. That's so. That's so. When the mechanic comes, 
I just saw that the other day. Oh, that, what you mean, like, inside, you mean inside yeah. the outside door? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's closed. It's closed you just door. Learned something. Yeah. Yeah. Because so I, was... I, I, I tagged my name, and that's when the elevator guy come. Uh, he see my name. Oh, damn, this guy's been here too. I mean, 42nd Street. Go to the movie theater. Oh, yeah. yeah Tag. <laughs> go, to, go to the movie theater, the 42nd Street, go to the Kalei. I think so. Go in the bathroom, a little tag. I mean, I mean, we we, we did it all, man. It, it was nothing that we we left unturned. We we just did it just for the hell of it. It's just, it's just a rush. It's, it's that's all what it is. It's just a rush. Mm -hmm. You just want to see your name. That's it. I mean, I, I mean, I'm 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 older now, mm -hmm. but back then I didn't care. If I wanted if I wanted my name to be seen somewhere, even even when you took the shuttle. From Times Square, go to the east and west yeah, side. Yeah. Remember when you used to walk down the long corridor? Yeah. And you see a, you see a name mm -hmm. up? He said, damn, Jester got tagged in. Yeah. Damn, um, Up2 got tagged in. I said, all right, I'm going to put my name there, too. Cause, cause you, you tagged me in so damn long. And so yeah. I, I know people see these shits. So, I, I, remember, yeah. I remember when I was, I was too short to even reach the tag. <laughs> How the hell they get up there? Cause these, these guys is... These guys are tall. Back back then, these 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 guys are damn near grown ass men. So how the hell they, they get up there? <laughs> I I I just can't handle it. <laughs> so that yeah, that's that. I mean, it's it's, it's it just takes you over, man. All right. Did you did you ever get chased? Did you ever get yeah, yeah. trapped off a yard? Or I I had to do something crazy to get out. Or? Yeah. Well, about your most dangerous escape uh, act. The most, the most one I, I can remember was Gun Hill. Uh, Gun Hill on the two was in the five. It's up it was really on the two. Yeah. Gun Hill, that Gun Hill, that, I went there with some kids and stuff. Uh, I, I, I was starting on the top to bottom right there. And but, but right there is a gate there. So I, 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 I look over my shoulder and I see four cops there. Oh, I see four cops actually standing right there looking down at us. Just watching. Just watching us. Next thing you know, the gate push open. So everybody scattered out. I left the pain. I actually jumped from Gun Hill. What? Yeah, and that's that's like a 25, 25 foot. You didn't know how to come down that pole. Man. Because we had no time to get to no pole. We had to jump. Jump to the street. That's White Plains Road. I know. You jump to the street and you ran on up. That's, Get out of here. that's over a 20, 25 foot drop at least. Wow. And I jumped. I, that, 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 that. And I remember that one. And then it was the, the four yard. I got ready in the four yard. <laughs> but we got the four yard was easy. I mean, I mean, it's easy to a sense where Tracy Towers is there. And they got a rampway that in the parking lot. But once you get up, once you get up to the pole there, you know, I mean, cop. These cops, tragic cops ain't climbing no poles. Nah. They got the clean uniforms on. They got the nice sticks. They got, you know, they're not getting dirty to to catch a graffiti, you know. Right. No. But 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 we gotta watch them for for the DTs who got the sneakers, yeah. who got the jeans. They ready. They 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 the ones who will give you a fight. They they the ones who who really go out go go that extra mile to catch you. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, there were there were stories where, I mean, I got chased, but I I was never caught as far as you like that. That's a blessing. I was never caught, and I I know guys who I went with, and when I was ready to go, I ain't see them no more. Yo 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 yo, where you at? So I left. I see him three or four days later. Yo, I got busted, man. Yeah, busted. Oh, man. oh, cop came out to conduct the booth and grab me. Shit like that. I was like, yo, yeah. I said, I told you, don't do no inside. Fuck no inside, man. You like it? Oh, man. But I, I mean, I mean, I I see a cop walk up on me. Uh, I was I was on the I was on the floor there between Cambridge and um, between Fordham and Cambridge. I was on a uh, window down. So I see a cop walking from Fordham Road. First, first I hear the the footstep. No, of course. Catwalk. The catwalk. You hear yeah. the creak, 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 right. creak, creak, creak. You, you hear it. 
<laughs> so I'm looking at his stuff, and I see his, I see his hat, and he, I see his bag shining the light. I said, "Oh, that's a cop." So what? He, what, he, what he's doing is he, he's he's kneeling down, and walking towards me. So I said, "Oh shit, it's time to go." <laughs> I said, "I said, oh shit, it's time to go. Let me get, let me get the hell out of here." So 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 I'm glad I I, I seen him. He's he's he, he's like walk up on me and shit. Right. So I went. I just got up my paint. I, matter of fact, I left the paint. I said, "Oh fuck the paint." So I, I, all I did was go to the nearest pole. You, 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 you know, you, you, you walk, you, you know, because I, I, I was skinny. I was skinny kid. You get through a track and slide down. All you, was, all you do is slide down, go down, go down, you know, go down. And you see the little bird nests and shit there. The little birds just flapping. Nah, 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 nah. So it, all I did was slide down the pole and left that shit. <laughs> That's, that's 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 one thing that I I, I caught. But but you see, that's why it's good to go by yourself. Mm-hmm. Caught. If you go with three, four guy, everybody talking, everybody laugh, you're not paying attention, right? You're not paying yeah, attention. Yeah, creep up on you. Yeah. Creep, creep, yeah. So I ain't, I mean I mean not 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 take anything away from. Um, I I just didn't feel like I needed to go with. X amount of people, you know, but it's it's better when you you know you're more focused. And besides, when you're doing a lot of talking, you 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 you, you, you can't really concentrate on your piece. You know, some, right. some pieces you like to. I, I mean, not every piece comes out one hundred percent, but some some pieces come out just better because you you're more focused, you're more concentrated. Um. And you know, and plus, and plus, you have the time. Time, time, time is essential. Cause yeah. you got you got a time before the work bombs come. Right. Once the work bombs come, the lights coming on. You know, you know, they gotta they gotta clean the trains. And stuff. You don't want to run into them. Not not you know, but I mean, I I, I never ran into some person, but but the but the ones I did run into. You know, they they was cool because they already know what we did. To right. do. They already know what we did for. You know, you know we're, not, we're not breaking no windows. We're not causing no damage. All, all they want to do is go there, and sweep the train, sweep the garbage, you know, right. and leave. I mean, I mean, you know, they they got they got paid, but for you going there, you beating them up and all that, mm. and then they gonna come with the cop, and then then the state, then the lab gonna be burned. You know, right, so, it's gonna be hot. So you don't want all that. So you know, just go do what you want to do and just leave. Right. You gotta be up there. In and out. Getting on, smoking high. All right. Um, I, before I go to the next question, I want to go backwards for one second. I want to ask okay, you, you uh, <laughs> when y'all were hitting Gun Hill and mm-hmm. the police were behind the gate and they came yeah. out on you, yeah. and y'all had to go and y'all jumped twenty five feet to the ground. You left your paint. Did you go back for that paint? Why would I? I would. But I'm saying some people don't. That, that paint wasn't worth nothing to me, man. Did I, you go I, back I, for your paint? No, I didn't. Okay, that's all well, I wanted to ask. I, 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 I'll get that back the next day. All right. That's the kind of person I was. <laughs> all right. All right, let's let's go on to the next one. Are you known for uh, any particular letter style? Are you, are you I No, I, I, I just like to keep it plain and simple because I, I, I like to keep it plain and simple due to the fact that I want people to read my name. That's me. That's now, me. When, when you see <clears throat> letters going every which way, people can't figure it out. Who, right. who did this? I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, not taking nothing away from the artists who will really put it down. Right, right, right. But I, I, I like, cause remember, I'm, I'm from the 70s era. And I like, I like my, the graffiti back from back then. It was readable. Mm-hmm. It was, you know, it was clean cut. It was, you know, you could actually read it, you know. Mm-hmm. But you know, you let me go to the wild stuff. That, that's all fine and dandy and good, but that's that's more time. Remember, I didn't have time like that. These guys got time. Mm-hmm. I had to be, I had to be somewhere at a certain place, you know. My mom, my mom went me back. You know, I, I got, I got to be there. Sometimes I couldn't even get in the house, right? <laughs> Cause you know, I mean, I mean, she, she, she had a chain on the door and all this shit. If I, if I sneak out the house, 
at 11 o'clock. My mom is asleep. She, she's early. She go to bed early. She go to bed at 8, 9 o'clock. But who who say if she get up in the middle of the night and the door, the chain's off the door? She's going to put it back on and I'm already gone. So when I come back, chain's on the door. Now, how do I get in the house? Right. How, 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 how can I explain myself for not being in that bed? Hmm? Not, not, not that she was gonna, she was gonna smack me, hit me, whatever. <clears throat> but see that, that, that's those were chances and risks that I had to take. Yeah. Cause I'm still living, I'm still living in the house. While I'm still living in the house, that's that's the rules, the rules and regulations I, I had to abide by. So, <clears throat> so when I used to, you know, I mean it was risky, and I took chances. Yeah. But. As far as the graffiti, my 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 name is my my tag, whatever. I mean, I mean, I, I just want it to be readable so people can know right. who did it. That's it. That's that's it. Not not, not take nothing away from the guy who, who you know who, who who did all the the stuff that that's un, unnoticeable, whatever. I I can't read it. So I mean, I could read it. I I could read at the graffiti right. You, you could read any style. That that comes to mind. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I could read any any style. Oh, I know who did that. But right. look how long it took. Look how long it took me t- to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Some people can't figure it out at all. Right. <laughs> yeah. A pause. No, I was just um. <clears throat> okay. All right. Um, you know, tell, walk us through how you do a piece. What, what do you have to do it on paper first? Do you, you I, do it in a black book? First of all, first of all, you're talking train or wall on sure, any, canvas? Any, any project, any, pro, any, any, when you yeah. set out, do you see it in your mind? Do you, do you try to put it on paper? I, 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 I try any to do project. It, I try to do it on paper first. Um, I try to do it on paper because that's why I, I can remember. A blueprint. Yeah, yeah. Cause you gotta start somewhere. Right. Or uh, unless you do it at the top of your head, oh, I want to do this. Then you know, I, I mean, every, every writer is different. That's true. Not no all writers are the same. That's true. But if you want to do the straight letter, the three D, you want to do the, the designs, and you want to do whatever you want to do, the clouds and stuff. You, I mean, I mean, I, I know guys who, who did the same piece. Forty really? years, oh, a million times. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you mean tell me this guy's one dimensional? He gotta be one dimensional. Yeah. But due to the fact of who he is <laughs> and what he did and right. what he do, right. look at I, I, I give a perfect example. Don't it's, mention no name. <laughs> don't mention no name. Nah. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, back back to the question is, <clears throat> I don't want to be one dimensional. You know. I, I mean, honestly speaking, I I don't have to prove anything to nobody. Right. Okay. I just like to do what I do and how I do it. I don't I, I don't care who, who who don't accept it. So eventually somebody gonna accept it because if not, why why is it selling? I I have an iconic tag. Iconic, very noticeable iconic tag. True. I, I don't have to go do a piece. I can, I can, I can make dollars and cents off my tag. Nobody else, nobody else got it. Nobody else can do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I just like to do what I do and keep it at that. I'm not have to please nobody. I don't have to please nobody as long as I please myself. Now. I mean, we 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 could we could uh, actually um, say that I'm proud of myself. My family's proud of me, and and that's all I need. That's all. Cool. I I'm not seeking no fame, no fortune, because it's gonna sell for itself, and that's that's the way that's coming from my heart. Because we are all artists. We all have our own unique way of doing what we do. And it's not to put nobody down. No, 
Never did. It's not to say who's better than who. Because everybody has their own way of doing what they do. And just because... It's, it's it's not a competitive not not a competitive competitive thing. I'm not I'm not to compete against nobody. I don't have to. But you know I mean I mean somebody's heads are so big for their necks. You know, and, and they take it to these different levels and try to create create all all this confusion and problem on uh, in the art world. In the art world, if you if you know what you do and how you do it. That's all. You, that's all you need. That's, that's 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 the only satisfaction you need. I say screw everybody else. Well, they don't think they don't like how you do whatever you do. So that, you know, to each his own. But I like my style to be what it is. It, it was bubble letters. It was straight letters. It was it was you know, it's it's it's, it's something noticeable. Mm -hmm. Oh, Delhi did that. Right. Oh, that's bad. Oh, right, right. you know, I, I like it like that. You know, like like the OGs who who really put it down and who still doing their work. You right. you know who they are. Right. These guys are still mm -hmm. top notch. They still not they still top notch to me. And when they see me, I I respect them, and I want to be respected too. All right. Just like I just like I respect all the artists who I go to the show, whatever I see, I respect them. Right. I don't say, oh man, uh, what you what you did was whack. I, I don't call nobody out. I respect everybody that I want to be respected. Cause we, you know, we 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 we're in that age group where, you know, we 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 got little kids who's looking up to us. Right. Now, who 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 really want to really. I, I'm not saying they want to be like us, but in, 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 in their own world, they would like to be us. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we got to set an example to them to say, hey, this is art. This is, this is how we did it. And this is what we love to do. Right. Nice. All right. Uh, how about your characters? Are there any specific characters that you like to use in your I, pieces? Uh, tell me about I, your characters. I, I, I like to reflect back from my childhood right. and watching the cartoons that I, when my mom used to sit us down, we used to love. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I like the old black quotation movies. Mm -hmm. You know, right. you know, you know, like like let's do it again. The, yeah. Uptown Saturday nights right. and you know the old movie the old shaft and super you know, the old movies that really meant something back then. Mm -hmm. You know. And so I would like to say that um to 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 up my repertoire. I would like I would like to say, oh I oh I oh I, I painted him. Oh you know I I, I get better satisfaction out of that than anything else but I, I could practically even if it's not 100 percent even if it's 60 percent i even 30 percent at least i try and i i really take greater satisfaction than saying at least i tried mm -hmm. i don't i don't care if it if it goes unnoticed at least i know it made me whole it made me complete right as long as it's made me happy, I mean, I mean, it's because this world is too big to make to please everybody mm -hmm. and to make everybody happy. But eventually, somebody's going to see it, yeah. and eventually, somebody will uh, gravitate to it. And and you know, I I I just don't don't like to toot my own horn, but I I just like to paint what I feel. That's from right. the heart. That's what artists do. Okay, I'm not. I'm, this this is coming from for me personally. Mm -hmm. But everybody else had their own opinion. Everybody is, is different. Everybody's gonna think. You see, you think negative or you think positive, or, or you don't call it down the middle. But I I just like to paint what I feel. Okay. Uh, or I I can have a vision in my head. Get up in the middle of the night. Jolted down on a piece of paper because 
Yeah, you know, because because most of the stuff I I paint I see in dreams. And so if if you have a dream and you wake up in the morning, you don't remember that dream. Exactly. You gonna say, "Damn, what the hell I dreamed of?" <laughs> right. So what I do is I actually get up out of bed and, and write it on a piece of paper, right, right, yeah. <laughs> so I won't forget it. And then then I I just visualize it. Cause most 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 of the art is through inner inner mind visual visualization. Mm -hmm. I think and I see and I, I I I just do what I feel through the art and through my hands. That's why that's why that's another thing artists gotta do. They gotta protect their hands. Because without your hands you can't do you can't write. Without your hands you can't paint. Yeah. What do you do? Paint <laughs> paint with your toes? <laughs> so that's why every known artist who's a real artist yeah, wash their hands. Watch your hands. Don't be putting your hands in somewhere where you might lose a finger yeah, and yeah, shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't, don't don't be taking chances in your hands. Don't don't even put your hands in somebody tutu if, if need needs say. Yeah, right. <laughs> Who, who's not clean? <laughs> that's why. That's why I'd be one down cookie. Or I would fuck my right hand up. I can't do it on my left, or right, or right. So I mean, that 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 just comes from me. Right. And I want to reach out to every artist out there who's hearing this. Take care of your hands. Go wash your hands. You can't do nothing. Okay. <laughs> right. All right. I'm gonna move on to uh, name your favorite piece. The most favorite piece. My favorite, favorite piece that you've ever done. Oh. And where was see. it? Oh, my favorite! Uh, I my favorite to this date was the the Chili Willy, mm -hmm. the the one that's in Subway Art. Oh, <laughs> do we have that here? Yeah, we can get that. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. We it's, have that. I, I I I I like that piece due to the fact that um, of all the, of all the cartoon characters that I see in the Subway, nobody ever did Chili Willy. At the little penguin guy? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody never did. She so, I mean, I the night I did that, I did that by myself in the in the D yard. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, I was by myself in the D yard, and and I I I really didn't know what I was gonna do that night, cause I was by myself, and I I just happened to stumble upon. Uh, a number two train. So I said, "Oh, oh!" I said, "I said, let me, let me just, let me just do something that that I can do, whatever." I, I mean, I, I really didn't know what I was going to do because I had, I had two different outlines in my back pocket, mm -hmm. and and I said, and I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there in the dark under the bridge trying. To, which one should I do? Which, and so I said, oh, let me do this one. Cause I, I, I mean, I had a lot of avocados, I had a lot of black, I had right. a few whites, and 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 I had I had an outline of chili Willie in my in my in my back pocket. I wasn't going to do chili Willie cause I thought that I couldn't do it in time. Cause I was looking at the time, right. I was like, oh shit, I, I only got a couple, I got a few hours to do this piece. Right. So. So then again, I I just I just I just did it. But what I liked about it was um, it, it, it it just it was clean. I, I was by myself. I was alone, and and then and it and it really took up the whole car. I did the whole fucking car. Oh. Even though I was climbing up and down and yeah, all this yeah, stuff, yeah. man, I'm hitting the rocks and yeah. you know, cause, you know, cause the D yard got the pebbles, and, you know, in the, the, the floor. So I really think that that's to me your favorite piece. That was my all favorite. Time. Yeah. All right. Even even though it was a even though it was a bubble letter marshmallow whatever. Right. But I mean, I didn't, I didn't have that much time. I had about four hours to do that. But you did it though. You put it together. Yeah. You got it finished. Yeah. All so, right. And it still, I mean, even though it ran, it ran, it ran for a minute. 
And I, know, I, I got full full page pictures of it. Yeah. But I I I think and then no, yeah, it's in Subway Art. The, the the whole thing is not Subway Art, but but it's it's you know I don't know why they even put the whole thing. I mean I mean it's really. Yeah, we still I think we're gonna find it. Yeah. But right. mm-hmm. but I, I I really think that that's that's the your favorite joint. That's my favorite. Chili Will. Yeah. And what kind of what you had a band too or? No, it was, deli? A, it was a deli. All right. Yeah, it was a deli. It was All a right. deli. Um, whole car, Tilly Willie in the corner. Going big. But I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I just, like I said, everything's based on time. You got a couple, you got a few hours to do what you got to do and get out. I I mean, I, I would have hate to have gotten chased or raided doing that. Because the mindset that you have when you, when you go in is that you, you just you just want to do it and be done with it. Yeah, yeah. You found it? It's there. Right, we'll, let them, we'll let them do that later. You yeah. found it, boom? It's up now. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, spin off of that question and say uh, what kind of, uh, with the Chili Willy and some of your pieces, what kind of caps did you use? And where did you get it? Oh, wow. The cap that... All right, um, so we're going to move on to uh, uh, with your favorite pieces and whole cars that we saw on the internet. Uh, what kind of caps did you use back in those days? Oh, wow. Boy, we had, um, uh, we had Jeff Holmes and we had Niagara's. Remember Niagara's? Mm-hmm. It's, can you, I mean, they still got Niagara's. I mean, I don't know. I know but everybody. I, I, I remember the Jeff, the Jeff Holmes was for the crime line. Mm-hmm. And uh, we can't, we can't. The Jeff phone came from the Mazola No Stick. We used to go to the supermarket and we used to, mm-hmm. the, <laughs> we, used, we used to open the can and pop the tag in our mouth and keep the tag, keep yeah. the, <laughs> we used to keep the damn, uh, yeah. the nodules in our, in our mouth. Yeah. So when the guy come through, we would put the camera and put it back. Right. So, and, and, and the Niagara starch, remember Niagara's? Mm-hmm. We used to go in the supermarket and just go to the Niagara aisle and just, and we, 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 we didn't put the caps in our pocket. We kept them in our mouth. So when you walk around, you got the you got cap all in your mouth and shit. <laughs> so, so um, but now you can just buy caps. And, but those, those were the go-to caps that that we used right. back then. Mm-hmm. The Jif phones, and we used the Niagara's. The Niagara's went best with the Stolium, and they went best with the Crown Line. But you know, but they had they had all these other name brand paints. Yeah. Uh, Red Devil. That that the cap wasn't int- you can't it wasn't intertwined with the with the can of paint because you you try to paint on the can of paint, right? Where the paint will burst out, and the next thing you know, yeah, yeah. you have paint all your arms right. and stuff. So we we just went to the go to can which was Rustolium. Rustolium was. Uh, Top paint to to really get back then, and and show was a crown on. But, but all them other brands they used to have, they they didn't appeal to me. But all we, brands. We, so. we just took them just to be taking them. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, like the Woolworths and uh, you know the lamps here that was going and open the glass and all that stuff. Oh, you yeah. know the, the Red Devils, uh, the wet looks and nah. But the go to the go to paint that I used them was, was told. Mm-hmm. Had all the colors, had the cascade yeah. green, right. the federal say, you know, the, the, the school bus yellow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Federal safeties. Yeah. I know a rack for that. Okay. Who, who are your mentors in writing? And mentors? what impact did they have on your art? <clears throat> I, 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 I come into uh, guys who was, who was really influential, influential as far as, you know, being. My my idol was uh, Clay Lee. Uh, Cobb was there. Uh, Slave Lee, you know. Stan one fifty three. Knock one six seven. But were there like any guys that you were working side by side that yeah. offered pointers and I, I advice used to, and stuff I, like I, that? I, I just go around these guys. Okay. You know I, you know. I mean, to me, it's like I knew them, I knew of them, 
So when I met them, I, I got familiar with them, you know, I, I, I kind of gravitate to that friendship. But I, I, I wasn't really was a loner. I wanted to go on. I wanted to build my own mystique. You know, it was like, I didn't want to really ride on nobody's coattails. You know, you know, I, I wanted to come up with my own image. You know, most, most writers who was dedicated, they want to, they want to build their own platform. You know, they don't want to be hanging around this guy or, you know, like, you know, they, they know who they are. They had all these underlings and, oh man, uh, uh, you know, I'll do this outline for me, go get me some paint. Uh, I, I just, I, I just didn't see that as a, a go-to, to, to build up your name. You want to build your name, you can build your name on your own. You don't have to gravitate to one specific artist because he is who he is. We all, we all know who did what and how he did it and whatever, you know, but if you want to build your own mystique, try to try to gravitate to your own image. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean that 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 speaks volume when you gravitate because anybody could climb up and paint. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, you just you just gotta be in it to win it. Uh, just be yourself. More likely, be yourself. You no, know, so I mean, but there's there's a lot of artists that I gravitation and I am deeply honored to say oh he did this oh um yeah he got prop you know he's he's top notch he's top this he's he's doing his thing we, you know, but like I said every artist has their own image so if you have your own image just stick to what you do right. stick to what's best and I'm, I'm pretty sure they they were accepting the open arms Right. All right. Um, so what does the word graffiti mean to you? Hmm. Graffiti is, is derived, it's an old time name that was derived from way back, even before any any of us yeah. was even born. <laughs> right. like, I mean, I mean we, 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 we're talking during Christ days from BC. Mm-hmm. Graffiti came from BC days. You know when it, when when the when the caveman mm-hmm. was in the cave right. and he had to go out to hunt. He left his he left his wife a note on a rock. Or right. He took a little chisel in the rock. That that's, that was a tag. But 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 honestly speaking, graffiti is in up with a word. But if you want to throw art into it, I mean I mean it it, it has so many meanings. Uh, but it's it's now as a world worldwide phenomenon where graffiti is on clothes, it's on sneakers, it's on hats, it's on shirts. Um, you, you even had graffiti in the Western days. Mm-hmm. It was graffiti actually in the Western days. You look at the Western today. Look at the signs. Yeah. Look 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 at the sign where it says saloon. Mm-hmm. It's graffiti. So. So I mean, I mean, it, it ain't nothing but a word that express art. No matter how you put it up there, eventually paint had to paint had to come into to be a great um, utensil. Because right. without paint, you can't do graffiti. Right. <laughs> what you gonna do graffiti with? <laughs> but pencil. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm like all jokes aside, graffiti ain't nothing but a word. But I don't know the meaning of graffiti. <laughs> All I know is it means something different to everybody, I guess. To me, it's art. Right. Plain and simple. <laughs> plain and simple is, is, is art. Okay. okay. But you could do you could do art without doing graffiti. You could do graffiti with, before doing art. So it it intertwines with each other. Right. But for you to actually do a painting, uh, it don't have to be graffiti. It just be a painting. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure um, Van Gogh. He didn't do graffiti. He was an artist. So there's a difference. You, you see what you, you see the meaning? Van Gogh and Picasso. He, these guys didn't write graffiti. They did art. So I mean, 
uh, that's, that's just my opinion. So I like to get the best of both worlds. Right. And do art and do graffiti. Mm. See, see, see which one comes out and intertwine with each other. Cause they both sell art and graffiti sells. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's my opinion. Okay. Um, and with that, I'll pass back to Pastor. Thank you, Butch. Two. Now, Band Two, Delhi 167. Can you tell us of the incident or any run ins with the Magnificent 13? I was hearing the old Guardian Angels. Um, well, you know, I, I, can, I can honestly say that I, I never had any run ins with them guys. Even though, even though I, um, I, I was approached by uh, Curtis Lee one night. There you go. And Tell us about that. He, uh, he came up. To, he came up to me face to face on the phone line one day, and he came to me and said, "Hey, you banned too, right?" I just looked at him. But I, 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 mean, I didn't even answer the guy. Right. So my mind is like, well, how the hell he know who the hell I am? <laughs> so basically, I, I, to this day, I still don't know how the hell he knew who I was, but. But, but it was mutual. He, you know, he just walked on, walked on his way. And I, after that, that, that's when I realized the four line must have been hot. So I, I said, oh, shit, I can't come to the four line no more. <laughs> I, I said, I can't, I can't come to the four line no more for a while. <laughs> so that's when I, I said, uh, but, but I, 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 I know I know. I think that's what guys. I was speaking about. I know I know running with them guys. Never, never chased, never. Never rated. No. All right, great. Are you currently back in the art scene? And what are your current projects? If no, no, I'm, I'm just doing freelancing. I'm, I'm just freelancing because, like I said, I only did it for nine years. Back in, back in my graffiti heyday, mm -hmm. only worked for nine years. Nine. Right. So, after that nine, I, you know, I, I, I just wanted to be a regular person. I wanted to. Get a job. I wanted to, um, you know, possibly have a family, start a family, whatever. I wanted to have a career. I, I really wanted to be an architect. Wow. Ar yeah, when I was a young boy, I, was, I wanted to be an architect because I was always drawing, sketching, and whatever. But, um, you know, as I got older and got, 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 got uh, involved with the, the neighborhood kids, um, uh, that was just a stepping stone for me to just start doing graffiti. Next thing you know, I lost focus. I I, I really couldn't. My mom couldn't afford college, you know, tuition. I, I didn't know nothing about all that. All these free grants they're giving out kids today. Right. Well, you know, you see all that stuff they got today? They didn't have this back in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Either your parents had the money or, you, you know, and besides, I was a single parent home. After after my stepfather died, my mom had to, you know, take on the burden of the burden of raising the kids on her own. So I mean I mean it was no, it was no guidance back then mm -hmm. <clears throat> to really show us the way. But <clears throat> but 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 um graffiti was it was I, I can't really say it was my way out. I can't really say it was my way in, way into where. All, all I did was what the street kids did. That's that's all what I was raised around. That's all what I knew. I didn't go to the army. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't want to be a, a correctional officer, a sanitation worker. I didn't know about city jobs. I, I'm still, I'm still a kid. I'm still a minor. I consider a minor. Well, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going through. But, <clears throat> but all in essence, um, I was at crossroads. I, I didn't know what I wanted to be, to be, but I knew I wanted to work. I wanted to, to support my mom. I wanted to support myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't get hooked on drugs. You know, I, I was in and out of jail. But for those nine years, I, I but but that was nine years that I did for fun. I wasn't making no money out of the, the nine years doing graffiti. Mm -hmm. I was just doing it just to be doing it because I, I felt that that was my niche. That was my that was my card calling, and and that's what I wanted to do, uh, in my heart. 
But but going you know forward into now, where I I just do it for fun. I do it for fun. I do it because, and and you know what? I'm a better artist now than I was back then. You know why? Because the passion just stays in you. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't go away. Not not that I lost it, but but due to the COVID that came down three years ago, people staying home a lot. I was bored. I'm staying in the house. Staying out doing what? Watching TV all day. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? Since I still since these guys was knocking, you know, oh, why don't you come out? Come out and do what? I'm not, I don't paint no more. So then I, I just, I noticed that they were making money off the canvas game. Oh, man, too, why you don't do no canvases? Oh, what? I don't, I know they know, I'm not into no canvases. So that's why I got involved with the art game now. Right. And I didn't know I, I still had it in me. It doesn't leave you. Not that I'm saying that, <clears throat> that, that, I said, damn, but why, why would have did this untrained back then? Who knows where I would have been today? Right. Because I remember, I stopped. So. We're, we're obviously recording in New York City, so that's, a, that's all the side noise there. So you were speaking earlier off camera about, about having exposure to the other elements of hip hop. You know, can you talk to us about any experience with, I, with breaking or seeing or teaching any of that? I, I, I just did what any teenage guy would do back in the days. Uh, you wanted, um, they just neighborhood kids, just being neighborhood kids. It wasn't about um, getting popular. You know, I mean, if you, if you like to dance, I'm not a dancer. Right. <laughs> I. I, I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 I can shake the leg here and there, but I'm not a break dancer. I'm not, I'm not spinning on my head and all that other stuff. But you want, you know, you want to get fancy with the girls, and you know, I mean, back back then, I mean, I guess anybody who, who was a b boy, I mean, they, they, they kind of um, got popped with girls and stuff like that. So, I, I mean, to me. I, I mean, I went to jams. I, I, I meet a girl, you know. Here's he my number. Call me next week, you know. I mean, that, that was no big thing, you know. But the way um, the free and the hip hop thing clash together, I, I, I still to this day don't see the connection. Because most most of the hip hop artists I know, they they're not graffiti writers. But I know a few graffiti writers who. Actually, transition over to right. hip hop. Exactly. So I, I, I mean, I, I don't, I, I still to this day don't see how it intertwined. Maybe because that's that's how it was, or maybe uh, I, mean, I, I, I don't, I don't see no hip hop artists who actually even vote on the train. Who? Mm -hmm. Who? Right. I, don't, I, I went to, I went to practically every yard in the city. I, I didn't know, I never seen them. Oh, I used to write graffiti. Uh, no, you did. What, what, what? Street street tagging? What? Just the neighborhood? Just in the neighborhood? You didn't go nowhere. You, you didn't ride on no train. What? What? what motion tag in the block? It, I I just don't see the connection. Right. Wow. Thank you for that. We we like to ask all the artists, all our writers, one last question. Mm -hmm. What does the Bronx mean to you? <clears throat> Bronx is, uh, the Bronx is, that's, that's, that's a borough that it's not, not, it's not like no borough. It's the only borough that has two names, you know, two letters, you know, mm -hmm. the Bronx. You don't see the Queen, the Brooklyn, you know. We don't I talk mean, about that other be, Besides Stott now, and, yeah. you know, you know. <clears throat> but, but the Bronx is, oof, I, I. I mean, I, I don't I don't take nothing away from the Bronx because I feel as a as a kid, if I would ever came to the Bronx, I, I probably wouldn't be standing here before you today. Because I came from Harlem, right? And Harlem all you see is drug dealers, dope fiends, dope addicts, prostitution. 
I mean, you, you, you're going at the little kid, that's all you see, right? all day, every day. So, um, but once, once, once I came to the Bronx, I seen a whole different, whole different community of people. I mean, I, I mean, from Harlem, all I seen was black people, Puerto Ricans, but, but, but only Puerto Ricans only stayed on the east side, but we stayed on the west side. All, all I see is one one sided people. But once I came to the Bronx, I see different nationalities. I see how everybody's moving. So, I, I mean, it's just, it's just different. The Bronx is, is different. And, it's, it, it, and not only that, it expanded. I mean, what? Anybody there to count the people who were actually in the Bronx uh, back in 1979? Or, Probably two million. Look at probably, probably three or four now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, I, I mean, and look at all the buildings. Remember, this is all, this is all vacant lot, burnt down mm-hmm. building. You you can't find an empty lot in the Bronx today. It's a building every damn way, and it's still a building. Look look down there by, by the um by the by one by the bridge, one thirty fifth and um. Right before you go across the bridge, my got building, that brand new condos about building, fifty stories tall. Those buildings were in there forty years ago. Oh, oh that was just train, uh, breaking land. Mm-hmm. So, um, I mean, coming into two thousand twenty-three, the Bronx has really grown since. I mean, it's, it's grown. And, and, uh, and, and, and infrastructure, the the subways, um, the subways is is the same. I, I mean, even though they took down the third hell, uh, but imagine that line was still up though. So I don't know. That's the forty one bus now. Yeah. Oh. So so I, I mean, look at all look at all the diversity that's here now, mm-hmm. and. Everybody want to gravitate to the bump. Every 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 nationality is here. Uh, I mean, it's just so much to see. They got better. They got the best schools here, the best colleges here. Uh, well, not well. Frankly, uh, we up there somewhere. And it's, it's, it's just that um, you know, coming up and being raised in the Bronx. It's just that to me, in my experience, it's far far way greater than. If I would have stayed in Harlem, or if I would have stayed in Harlem, I probably would have had a different mindset. I probably wouldn't even got involved in graffiti in Harlem. Mm-hmm. I probably would never got in, involved with graffiti if I would have stayed in Harlem. So when I came to the Bronx, that you know, just 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 to get to point A to B, just to get to school, just to you know, just to see the sub. Remember, Harlem I mean, Harlem subway is underground. Only only Harlem subway is is, is overground. What? It's not even hard. What, what, the one train. The one? What? The one, well, the one's, the one's the really, way over on the west. The one's really underground. Okay. The, the one, the one don't oh, come. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking about Hunt Train. Sorry. No, I thought it's under. Every, every train home is, is below. Um, you know, but to me, I, I just feel the Bronx is it's, it's the Bronx. You just can't, you just can't escape it. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's just so much going on, culture wise, the store, the shopping, every everybody's moving. It's, it's, it's just so much to see here, mm-hmm. and, and it's bigger than what I thought. Yeah, it got so many neighborhoods in the Bronx. What? I, I mean, I went to Monty Haven, Marsania, Fordham, Cambridge, Bedford, Soundview. You're talking about. Dogs, man. Drugs neck, yeah. Right. Yeah, so many neighborhoods and uh, I, I, I mean now now you you go you can actually walk in all these neighborhoods. You won't you won't be looked upon. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't belong in this neighborhood. Oh, you don't know here. You don't you don't gotta worry about the police stopping you because before the police pull up on you, hey, what are you doing here? Where are you going? We can't even see. Nah, they, they they pick you in the car and take you back down downtown. But now we we free to go anywhere. 
uh, you can travel. You know, I don't know. It's just just my opinion. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We also like to ask all our artists if you would, mm -hmm. you know, if you could write your tag down for us. Oh yeah. You know, yeah, and that way so. we put it in our our title collection for the yeah, Boston sure. Ever saw arts documentary? Um, um, one and both. Both, please. You go. Especially Kelly one six seven. Not that I got a favoritism between that <laughs> no, two. No, no, both, bro. Stop, man. Oh, okay, okay. Well, okay. I, I do it like this. Okay, okay, okay. That's the, the band two. Hold it up for us. Put it down. Nice. That's one. Appreciate it. I'll do a deli plus. That's what I'm going What is that? Oh, from 1976. Was... Okay, I see. Yeah. And oh. two. Okay. And also, I like to do a deli. You don't mind. Well, there were different, there were different variations to how I wrote the deli name. Okay. It was different variations. Not, not like you know. Even, even with the band two tag, I, I, I wrote different variations of it. But the deli tag, this is my favorite. I mean, it's, it's just people. <laughs> you just want to understand it. I, I really love different variations of, of this deli tag here. This, this is my signature. I love it. Thank you so much. Love we it. want to really thank you for the time. 